Yo. What's Papino? What's Papino? Zeke Black is in the building. Shout out to the New York Jankies. You know what I'm saying? The Jankies. Well, what's goody? What's goody, party people, man? So much has happened this week since last week. It's been an exciting week. Shout out to East Harlem. Um, shout out to Lightskin Rory. He was he was in tune. He was on Star Report. He was talking about the content, the situation with Jones. Um, the Big Meat situation. That Big Meat with 50 Cent going out with Blue Da Vinci. That's another whole scenario. We're going to touch on that a little something, something. Jimmy Henchman. I didn't even know Jimmy Henson would be, got a party, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely was proper, was proper. Was Papino, we in the building, get the wolves up, get the wolves up, you heard? Get the wolves up, man. Um, and Jesse, and Jesse keep it funky, man. I'm going to keep it all the way 100, man. Salute to um, everybody waking up this morning, man. You know, I woke up a little late today. Definitely shout out to everybody that's in the building. We got some callings. It's going to be crazy today. We're going to speak about different topics, but you can touch on anything you want to talk on. It, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Um, I was on Trolls Nation yesterday. I like Little Week. Week from Trolls Nation, he's dope. He, he knows what he's doing. He deals with the facts. And I like his commentary. And that's just how you have to create the things through your commentary. You have to keep it funky, man. You know what I'm saying? And this game is a dirty game, man. Y'all keep missing. Y'all keep every time something go crazy, y'all all start screaming civilian. There's no civilian once you cross that street. And that's what I'm getting upset about. When y'all cross the street, that's what everybody wanna play civilian. Oh, I'm a civilian now. No. Once you cross the street, once you in that lobby, once you in that goddamn lobby. And you chose, I'm going to be a lookout, I'm going to stay with you, you are no longer a civilian. There's no such thing as a civilian. We don't pick and choose. That's this goofy New York codes. Yo, I'm a civilian now, and I was a civilian. No civilian puts themselves in a the line of fire. So let's stop that. When somebody goes, yo, but I'm a civilian, and some gang members want to pop on me, and it's that real talk. Why would you put yourself in a situation where a bunch of gang members want your head? Where a gang member wants your head. If you don't smoke crack and you don't sell crack, why do niggas selling crack and they boom and got beef with you? How? Why would somebody who goes, I just go in and out of my building, have any beef with anybody in front of the building? You dudes be wilding out, man. There's no such thing as a civilian once you jump off the porch. You can't dip and dab. There's no McNody in this. You either in or you out. See, the gang changed everything. The, 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 the preparation of the gang changed everything. It changed the outlook of how people think, how people move, how people justify things. That's what gang did. That, that, that's what the gang did. So now what happens is, every time somebody get punched in the face or chased around the block, yo, I'm a civilian. They're trying to, that, 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 there's no such thing as that. Then, then if you're a civilian, you stay in a civilian place. Do you think I'm a co sign somebody calling the police for me because they're a civilian? I'm going to go, yo, that was little nigga shit that you caught the police and said I had a gun in front of the building because you're a civilian? Y'all got to stop trying to make things sound correct, bro. You gotta stop that shit. You gotta stop trying to make shit sound politically correct. It sounds Ricky Ricardo, man. It sounds Ricky Ricardo. Now, this is the difference between real and fake. Fake and real, right? Shooter nine three. He said he was in the. He was on Queens for the block. He mentions that he was coming from somewhere. He 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 bumped into a real right, right? A real right comes to him and goes, "Yo, that's what's up with the, the YouTube thing and the situation." Now you know he from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? What's Harlem? He's like, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah. So shooter like, huh? Do like I watch all the son videos or I watch whoever videos. It's not a good look. And, and shooter and shooter was like. Yo, that's crazy. 
And I'm going to take it that they was talking about me, my show. That's how I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take it from a respectful manner. Like, yo, just because you don't know him, niggas know him, bro. I'm from George Washington Houses. I'm from TWB. No, just know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm, I'm, I'm from Wash. I'm not from the new YG ever. I'm not from the old YG ever. I'm not from none of that. In my neighborhood, there wasn't no real big blood shit going on. You had a couple of big homies, the Pistol Pete and the rest of them, but there really wasn't no real big homies running around that was really pioneering the block. It was just blood shit going on. You know, snatching pocketbooks. You had niggas snatching pocketbooks, snatching chains, but it wasn't like niggas had four or five blocks. So we're not, we're not, we're, we're, we're not gonna create that, that situation. When that, when that, I don't know what went on in Brooklyn. I can't tell what was going on in the Bronx. But in my community, on my block, it wasn't a bloody block. You understand what I'm saying? Now, 50 Cent. We're going to touch on 50. A little things I know about the whole 50 Cent situation. I know a couple of things about the Jimmy situation. I also know about um, a couple of situations with the... Um, you know, the Blue Da Vinci. The first time I seen Blue Da Vinci was... In a um, Smack DVD, he was on Smack DVD with BMF. That's the first time I seen BMF. That's the first time I, the first time I seen BMF ever was on a Smack DVD, and it was so out of They had the white guy with the bone doing the, 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 the diamond thing and the jeweler, and they had the rapper. The rapper they was pushing at that time before Jeezy was. Blue Da Vinci. But Jeezy won because Jeezy was kind of bad boy. Puff was doing a lot in the land. Don't get this story. He had a rap group called Boys in the Hood. And you know what I'm saying? He got Jeezy off, but Jeezy became a trap man. You know what I'm saying? Snowman, whatever you want to call it. Jeezy took it to the top. Shout out to DJ Drama. I remember that little time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my OGKs in Albany, New York. You know what I'm saying? 518, you know, uptown, downtown, other no block. You know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? That was that ever, you heard? Now back to the story, man. Sometimes, man, some things, some things, oh, it's, it's, it's spooky. It's funny because he got caught up in that, it's been spooky. And I'm not going to lie to you, he caught five. And most dudes that get caught up in these conspiracies, you know, tends to minimal. But anything that's drug related, so when you get to five, it's sort of shady. It's shaky dog. You know what I'm saying? I call it shaky dog. When I call you shaky dog, we don't fuck with you. See, I'm going to tell you something. And this is how the streets go. Not, I don't, can't tell you about the jail cells. Maybe jail cells is different. In the streets, if I feel that you're sus, it's just like you being a snitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't need to see black and white. If you come to me and go, yo, Zeke, what's up? If such and such is pulled up on me, he want to get a half a bird. Is he good? Son, that nigga sus, my nigga. He going to call him back, I don't got nothing. That's what sus gets you. Sus puts you back in the garbage can. You don't need black and white like that. We don't have black and white parties on corners in New York. Y'all do that shit where you at? Black and white only matters in the pen penitentiary. Let me see some black and white. That be nigga scapegoat to a story. Let me see some black and white. When was the last time any of you niggas came home from jail and Kim pulled, pulled up in your block and everybody came to the park and you pulled your fucking, your, 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 your discovery out. Everybody read my shit, I'm not telling. Get out of here, man. So let's stop fronting for the camera. We're making New York City look real fucking goofy. Real goofball shit. Niggas will never do that. I ain't never, I ain't never have to show my paperwork in the street. I don't know what they do in other markets. I ain't never seen that in New York. When Bam came home, I ain't never seen him pull up on the smile. Yo, your little nigga, come here. Here go my paperwork. When Poodle, rest in peace, came home, he ain't never write up on us. Yo, let me, here, here, look at my paperwork. He ain't see none of that shit, man. So let's stop creating this fake stories. Okay, nigga, my accident, you don't know, see your paperwork. But most times when you ask a nigga, you see your paperwork that sucks, they disappear. You don't see them no more. Yo, son, son, I want to see your paperwork. <laughs> because in the streets, it's an even playground. You can get lost. In jail, you can't get lost. You can't hide from nothing. 
You can sign the PC all you want after a while. That's the break. You being in PC is like being in the box. Let's take some goddamn calls. I wonder where some of them bellas at. Let's take some calls, man. We in the building, man. Shout out to New York, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to New York City. Everybody up right now. We in the building. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And this, and this is this is this is real talk, man. You know, Blue Da Vinci, man. You know what I'm saying? Blue. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Blue. My nigga, you know what I'm saying? My, my nigga Blue, he definitely, um, look right now. Let's get them callers in. Let's get them callers in. Let's pop, let's pop, the top of the top. Blue Mad. Blue Da Vinci tight. You gotta talk about this. Another big situation going on out here. Blue Da Vinci. I remember the last time I seen Blue. Blue Core 5. I'm not gonna lie to you for a weird conspiracy. For a little bit of change. Of course, you got some dudes that probably feel like he's cooperating. He's El Cooperado, but he's not cooperating. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he cooperated or not. I've never seen this case. They had a bunch of paperwork. Niggas is like, fuck him. But one thing I'm going to say about Blue is that Blue, why? Why not even past Meech being 20, 18 years old in this, in, this, in this documentary? Fuck you mean don't play with your name. We even get to the point where Meech is getting real money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're, we're at the point where Meech is still alone, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's still a young boy when he around Detroit. We haven't got to the LA and the Misha, he ain't even got the studio yet. So, Vinci, what you think? We ain't even get to that point yet, Blue? Blue? Just turn the music off, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, Mutual Black, no music, Mutual Black, right? What's good, brother? Where, 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 where you calling from, good brother? What's up, what's up, what's up, man? This is Spado, man. It's straight out of Gangsta P. I'm in PA right now, bro. Shout out to Gangsta P, Lots shout out. Definitely, definitely shout out to Queens, man. What's goody, what's goody, man? What's going on, yeah, man? Yeah, I think, I think Blue fucked up his own bag and figured out how to play the bag the right way. Yes, sir. I don't think, I think... A close mouth would have been better for Blue, but Blue did too much. He came home too early, so the speculation is still swinging around. A little freaky. Yeah, Man, yeah, it is. It with is. 50, 50 controls the bag, and I think Blue knows where it is about to land up. So yeah. he's trying to prepare, but he trying to like get this shit together before it gets to the point when he got to LA and all other shit. Because he said in his last interview recently that he was the one and his man's putting shit down and really getting to it. So, mm -hmm. shit might get ugly. Now, you know, you know what's funny you said that? It's because Blue, if everybody was gonna make a solo BMF story, it would have been blue because he was around them for a long time to the part that we want to see. Because this shit we watching now. Oh, I guess his phone hung up. Should I get the homie back another phone call? His phone died. But um, the part the part that we're looking at is you no know, childhood in detail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think this thing hung up. Yeah, the part that we're looking at in detail is um that part that we're looking at is when he was a kid and teenager, you know what I'm saying? We haven't even got to the, when they throwing money across, across the street, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna lie to you, I read they book, and the BMF book is very interesting, man. These dudes was getting money for a long time. These dudes called the money for a long time, man. They been getting money for a long time, and, and once you get into that bag, you get to the bag sincerely, that's that I remember that BMF flow was crazy, man. You know, they 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 changed they made a lot of changes, man. You know, you know, I you know you know these stories are major story, man, because they was hitting different states. They had that oh Pluguito. I mean for 30 years from each, he basically got a slap on the wrist. He still wanna see the, the, the he gonna see life again. You know what I'm saying? For all that money he took, man, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean. Sometimes, man, 
You know, we look at these federal cases, we get in tune with them, we listen to them, and, and sometimes Crown Court TV got something on them as well with the bit with the BMF situation, man. And it's a dirty game because you know we come up the feds as rats. Dudes are gonna tell on you. You got some dudes that can't cope with the pressure. Hold on a second. You ever call him? Yo, where yo, where you calling from, brother? What's up, Z Black? This is Van Gloriousness, my brother Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Very glorious. Yeah, um, yes, talk to me. I, I think, you know, what, when, we, when we look at, like, Blue Da Vinci, when we look at Jeezy and the whole BMF thing, I think that, I don't think it's so much about snitching allegations, more so than the fact that how he separated himself from Meech. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Yes. And the way that those brothers, in particular him and Jeezy, the way they separated from those from Meech and, and, and T, I personally believe it left a bad enough taste in their mouths where, you know, Meech and them is probably like, all right, since y'all separated, stay separate. Yeah. You know, since, since you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you know, when, 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 when the chips fell down, you dudes didn't stay with me. Y'all secured yourselves, and so now I'm secure myself. Yes. I think with Blue Da Vinci, that interview was like what well, the homeboy said that call prior. Blue was trying to do a preemptive strike. Yes. He's trying to get in front of something before it comes out. Yes. So it's, you know, don't put, you know what I'm saying, respect my name, put this, but, you know, you have to put respect on what you did. If yes, you sir. did wrong, if you did, you know what I'm saying, you got to hold it. Gotta I hold think it. that's the thing that people don't. I think that's the thing that people have to understand with an Alpo, even with a 6 9 These, these dudes did what they did. Not yes. saying it's right. Not, we're not going there. Go. But they accepted what they did, and now they're standing on it like, yeah, I did it, and what? That, you know, no, it you know, is what it is. You know what, Van Glorious? What you just said right there is powerful. How are we mad that they want to stand on that they told? It's like we get mad. Yo. It's like we get mad. But we understand that, yeah, it's no snitching, but I'd rather somebody go, yeah, I told, but if you want to fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, you don't. Then a, a motherfucker wastes 80 hours trying to convince us he didn't tell. You hear me? Yo, man, it's, it's you know, there's two things that will get into when we get, I, I, I call you get into the primal aspect of human being. Number one, when you play with somebody's freedom, mm -hmm. you play with a dude's freedom, they will do whatever it takes to get up out of there. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Somebody just said something. Vince Reed said, and this is deep. You wouldn't say that about a child predator. That's deep right there, what he just said right there. When it comes to a child predator, and they say, yeah, you touch kids, we treat them different. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Bro, you can't. That's. Yo, do you realize in Florida they got a whole town for nothing but child predators gone? I never knew that. Whoa. They got a whole town that's spe specifically for choppers. That's what they do for predators in this country. They let them have their own cities. You got in Canada, they had a, a place called Nambler. You know what I'm saying? National Asso Association of Man Boy Love. This is the type of shit they do. So when it comes to child predators in this country, you, yes. you don't want to go down that rabbit hole, bro. Because mm -hmm. it, gets, it, gets, it gets crazy. It gets, it gets crazy. crazy. So I, I'm going to... I'm just gonna stick with the 50 Cent Blue Da Vinci. This might be something to check out there. Because, but did he tell? Did, of, did he tell though? I never knew who told. Like, I never paid attention. I don't know either. It. That's the thing. I don't know what he did. I know he separated, he separated himself from them, and he took and he basically admitted to the things he did. Some people say that's telling in itself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no criminal. I don't know that. I'm not no jail dude. I'm not. A, a jailhouse lawyer or jail paralegal, so I don't know the the rules of that act or that or whatever that is. But I do know that what 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 we what dudes do in the streets is sometimes we forget those primal urges of revenge, those primal urges of yo, you mm. get me, I get you. No. And so yeah. this may be me just get back is to say, yo, you separated when you did, so now stay separated while we heating up. And that's how it be, man. Yo, you know, you know what's weird? It's because nobody nobody assumes that somebody's gonna pick the story. Nobody assumes that major TV, and no matter how much money you make, 
that nobody in major TV can clean this up. Because we keep saying, think about this. In the streets, we say, I say, yo, we can't record nothing. We shouldn't talk on the phone. We shouldn't do all this other shit, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. But then you get somebody that's in the background after I make a name for myself to make a whole movie about our recordings, what we do with the picture, the paperwork. So what happens is, should we, as as if you're making millions of dollars, copyright some of our shit? You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Hopefully, that, you have to. You have to. You, you know have what I'm saying? To. You have to. Adding okay. yourself, like seriously, like. Okay, okay. Look at look off your movies made. Um, um, Goodfellas was was what? Well, listen, Goodfellas was actually written by the guy who told, and we love Goodfellas. This is what That's I'm the guy who told. This is what I'm getting ready to say. You got Goodfellas, a story told specifically about a a a, a, a cokehead, alcohol addicted rat. Rat. Right. Then you got Donnie Brasco, which talks about a fucking cop. And we love those movies. <laughs> what it's all about. So it's like, come on, like this is what it is. What what's interesting to me, Z, is what's gonna happen in about five or six, seven years when Crippy and Mel Matrix and Shoddy and all these dudes come home to a hero's welcome and then they give their intellectual property to us and they monetize that. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. Because I know that it's, there was a gag order on the information that they can share in a case that's not public. And, 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 and I didn't want to believe that in the beginning, but then look at 6 9 6 9 can't really throw the paperwork out there, his whole case, because he's still on federal parole. You know what I'm saying? I believe that when 6 get off of federal parole, he'll be able to get millions off of who they think will stand up individuals. You know what I'm saying, you hear me? But, but but they can't they can't gag them after time served. That's they what I said. Gag, That's what I said. Gag, Six. They cannot put, exactly. They cannot put a gag order on somebody's That's intellectual free. property. That's in, no. But you, but now what I'm saying is now that they're in the feds, they can't really blow a nigga up. But what I'm you know what I'm saying? But well, 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 where's where actually where's me chat? Misha sitting in the feds getting a whole bunch of millions right now for the fifty. That's what I'm saying. You can't stop a nigga. You can't. You can't. You can't tell a nigga, yo, you can't get no money with your story. That's the funny part. That's about this is how fifty maneuvered this shit. You know what I'm saying? He maneuvered it. He man now don't get it twisted. Guess who's home? He. South. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I think T yeah. was able to give fifty what he can give him, like. I, I can only give you this and yo, you right. Yo, yo, you got a good point right there. Yo, so that's real because how can, how, because how can Meese make his movie if, if, if it's a gag orders? If it's gag orders, bro, you hear me? You can't gag a nigga. You can't bro. gag a nigga. Okay, son. how are you gonna tell me you so so in other words, you telling me there's no gag order for me in court, but there's gag order for me in the world? In the world? How does that work? But I think their case was a little. It's. I think with Meech case, I think I think Meech case is dead. I think anybody yeah, that's because, because 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 they admitted guilt. They admitted they, guilt. They, they, took, they, they they admitted. So what they, you know what I mean? What, what else you gonna get me for? You got me. You got me. And it's funny as you said said that because it's yo man, this is dope. Because when you sit back and you, and you think about it, Meech just. You know what I'm saying? Like, Meats just sold the story through his brother. We're going to get some free millions, and they can't get us on nothing because we're talking about shit that they already know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And, 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 this, is, and this is the killer part. And you know what the killer part? Yeah. My son is playing me. <laughs> my son is me. <laughs> That's my son on the screen. What you going to tell me? I got my son playing me. Bingo. You tell me my son can't visit me and get this game? Fuck out of here. Yo, that's a fact, bro. Yo, bro, you know, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Is is this is and I like that we have these this conversation because I always thought that it was like gag orders. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no niggas ain't gonna say nothing because of gag orders. It's a bad with this paperwork, you know what I'm saying? And some niggas, they gonna play chess, 50 cent. Because I heard what you mean. He said that between me and you, bro, online. 
50 Cent said that he's doing a um, documentary on Boy George. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Yeah, like, like, but okay, who's going to tell the Boy George story? Shout out to John. Can I shout out John Shaft? John Shaft said it. Once you convict it, all that stuff is public record, no matter what. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But it seems to be that only but certain paperwork we can get publicly, unless we're not. You know what? Maybe we're not. We're not lawyers. Maybe we're not exactly. looking for the right paperwork. Exactly. Good point, man. Maybe we don't know what we're looking for unless you don't look at the Fed charge. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like I ain't know what the eight two five was and the one one four and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Maybe it's certain codes we have to look for to get certain paperwork. We don't know what to look for. We'll need a lawyer to actually find out what the papers like what what certain paperwork is. You know what I'm saying? Fee, fee, that's the reason why. On a personal level, that's why I don't get caught up in that Jim Jones paperwork shit. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm reading, and I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. Personally. You now, know, you know, you know, you know, you know, and, and, and I was I understand what Drew saying that his name is in this, and this and that. But when, we, when you get into the nuts and bolts of it, I don't know what the fuck that shit means. I don't know. So I can't accuse anybody of nothing. What I'm waiting for is when something, whoever has the paperwork, yo, get a fuck. Yo, you can get free legal services, pay that man to interpret what what is wrong with it. Yo, you know what's so funny? Give me what's wrong with it. And then and then and then we can discern and figure this shit out. Yo, you know what's funny? I, I, it's, it's crazy. You know what's funny what you just said? I like what you just said, right? And we're not getting off topic. We talk about wide taps, big meat shit. He just spoke about the Jim Jones thing. Now the only thing I'm gonna say, man, is is um, sometimes, right? You got some people that that because you open doors, people put a blind eye to some to a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm gonna say is on my end, me catching my felonies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Me going to jail in the, in the '90s and in the, in the, in the '80s, right, those other crazy niggas. Yeah. I'm only, I can only go off what I was around, you know what I'm saying? I seen, I was in Albany County Jail when niggas, because Albany County Jail don't have an MDC. So when you in Albany County Jail, you're actually in jail with federal inmates, you know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. to my man Hector Garcia that was locked up from East River, you know what I'm saying? Right. He had caught a piece of connection, some Italian shit with some, you know what I'm saying, whatever, out there in Shore, New York. Now, me kicking it, it um, he showed me his paperwork, and his paperwork had like a thousand pages, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know what you're reading because you don't know what you're reading. And he was breaking shit down. He started breaking shit down to me. And as he, as he began to break shit down to me, certain shit, it was spooky. What I'm gonna say is it was spooky shit because you had dudes that was telling on him that didn't have to take the stand, but they was telling on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. you understand know what I'm saying? Like, I be like, yeah, Van Glorious, yeah, he the plug. I bought 150 grams from him on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Back. Right. I don't have to testify to that, but that's what I said about you. You know what I'm saying? But right. if they want to use this, these stories, these, these, whatever it is, at trial, they could do whatever they want to do. My man caught 10 years, you know what I'm saying? But he was breaking some shit down to me, trying to educate me on the fresh shit. I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I hear what you say. It's just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoever said it, that, it, yeah, it, that's what happened. Because they have mad paperwork. Somebody to, to interpret shit, that's all. Yeah. Now, me personally... Tell us where it's wrong. Tell but me personally, right. some shit that you don't let fly too far. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean about that is... Okay, let's talk about Jim Jones. You want to bring up Jim Jones, right? The Shooter 9 3 nigga, right? But what the Shooter what the Shooter 9 3 do? But just somebody, as soon as he, he mentioned two, two cents of his name, he made a video. What are you talking about? He saw the beef with, right? His complex came out. I'm not no fucking rap. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Am I right? Right, right. That's basically saying, I'm not funny style. That's what Shooter 9 3 did, right? Everybody else who took shots at, even me and Queen's Flip is going back and forth. You hear me? Am I, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Queens Flip. Shout out to my old GM family. Shout out to the Northside Queen. Shout out to Kev Webb. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? He had to holler at the stand up nigga to go, nah, Zeke is good money. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Yeah. yeah so now, Jimmy, the man of the hour, fuck Jim Jones. 
Freaky Ziki for my projects, my nigga. Freaky Ziki has his own IG. Am I right? You know what I mean? True, true. Jimmy, you even got to say it. Ziki could have said it. We're from the same projects. You understand what I'm saying, friend? We're from the same projects. We know the all band. Me and Freaky Ziki know the same exact niggas. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yo, that nigga Zika sucker. Yo, yo, sir, yo, yo, Zika bitch ass nigga. Yo, we know the nigga. We grew up with the nigga. The nigga that's that, that, that. He ain't even do that. The crew ain't do that, bro. You understand? You understand what I'm saying, fam? So now, when we sit back and we, and we, we, we look at this, only God, only God, bro, only God, but what's in the dark will come and come to the light. What I'm gonna say is, what he. Is that when it comes to the light, I'm gonna get a million more views to this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's it. Cause I can't argue about that. But what the am gonna say is I'm from George Washington houses. Hunt, Hunt, from 105th Street, Hunt Fourth to 99th Street and Lex. Same projects. We play tag with the same niggas. We play, we hustle in the projects with the same niggas. Shout out to China Brimmers in the building. We did everything in them projects, bro. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Everything. True. So, True. fuck Jimmy. Your man Zeke would have said something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? he, he should be talking. Fuck it. I know the nigga Zeke. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I know niggas that be with Zeke. Actually, come here. It was all the nigga Zeke Black. I'm from Wash. So that's why we don't we, 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 we don't get caught in the world game and say this and say that. Yo, don't you, you, you watch my page. All right. Have you seen my community board, bro? No, I, I, I posted a picture of Odie for my project. You know what I mean? Oh, oh okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Odie yeah, got yeah, life in the feds, right? That's Freaky Zeke Man. That. That's Zeke Man. You understand what I'm saying? That's Zeke. That's Freaky Zeke friends. He grew up with by on our side of the D. That's his friends, right. bro. Them niggas. I just posted that picture yesterday. You you understand what I'm saying? So sometimes, man, it's just. Reality, you know what I'm saying? Another nigga I posted, the ticket, Gatto. Gatto was part of their circle, right? Gatto. I know him as little Ainge, you hear me? He was getting money. I know the niggas that Ainge was under. Like, I know the niggas that Ainge was under, bro, you hear know I me? Mean? And that's why niggas go, yo, leave Zeke alone, you know what I'm saying? But it's just not about. from two different New Yorks. People don't understand that. It's a different New York. That 80s and 90s shit. Dirty. It's so different the cloth. when 97, like I always look at 1997, 98, that's when this shit changed. Yeah. Because that's when everybody started ganging up. You, from, you know what I'm saying? Because so you, you understand pre gang New York. I, yo, and that's why I, I bring it to the level of pre game New York because this is where we are. But one thing I'm going to say though. It's gonna to come to the light, and when it comes to the light physically, for, for, for the naysayers, life goes on. But that's why we're going into, that's why the movement is, the movement has changed. But we can talk about the Jimmy thing, and I, and I respect your outlook, and I, I'm not gonna say your opinion, your fact. Until I see more legal paperwork, my well, eyes is open. My, my I respect is, it. Is that sometimes, a lot of times, opinions take over. And yes. when opinions take over, People's emotions come in, yeah. and then now it's you know you start rattling off shit like with the like 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 the Hassan Campbell. Oh, that Hassan, you know, yeah, Hassan, you got to do it, Hassan. Man. What about this one? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We it, you don't know what everybody knows. We have to stick to the thing, to the facts. We don't know. I don't know. I can't say with everybody else. I don't know what that Jimmy paperwork is. I know his name is in other things and the phone calls and all, all of that said and done. If if these things, if, if people are saying these things are true, show and prove. And don't show and prove with your own discernment. Show and prove with actual discernment. I want to ask you a question. I, I, I want to ask you a yeah. question, right? Because how 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 old are you, good brother? Me, I'm, I'm in my fifties, bro. Okay, you older than me. All right, definitely yeah ever, definitely yeah ever. Let's say I was out of town somewhere in Kansas, right? Mm -hmm. I come back to the hood. You on you 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 getting money, right? I come back. Yo, son, I'm back. I'm fucked up. I need a helping hand. I did it out. 
somebody that was in Kansas with me come to you and be like, yo, Zeke ain't no good. What's your next action? Are you are, are, are you still going to take a chance to fuck with me? Or are you going to wait and watch how I move around? Before well, you make your final decision. Yo, well, Zeke ain't no well, good, well, son. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm fucking with you already, I'm already in. And that's it. If, you know what I'm saying? If, I'm already, if, I'm, if I know you, I'm not going to... Because, okay, if I know you, you my man. Zeke is my man, right? You, but you I know me you. from Zeke on the block, not Zeke. Kansas Zeke, not Zeke who might have caught eight months but gave up 12 niggas. Like, I, I, I'll give you a good example. There's a kid I knew named Lulu Reefy. Shout out to Lulu Reefy, though. Lulu Reefy was getting money, right? He went to Tennessee to get money with some dudes in Tennessee. Y'all niggas know, some of you Brownsville niggas know Lulu Reefy. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Lulu so Reefy up in a situation and told the police on his niggas, on his niggas, like, yo, I'm going to give niggas up. Right, okay. They let me out. Right, Right, and then, and then the niggas from Tennessee, did the niggas from Tennessee tell the Brooklyn dudes? They told the, the Brooklyn people. Yeah, they told the right. Brooklyn dudes. So by the Okay, at that, okay, now it's on me. It's Bingo. on me now. But when he came and back to the door. They told me, good, bad, or ugly, it's my fault because the information was told. Yeah. I gotta take that. Yeah. I gotta take that. I gotta eat that. But he didn't want to eat it. He came back to Brooklyn like, yo, I ain't telling, I ain't telling nobody. And it took some Brooklyn cats that got caught up in Tennessee to expose the paperwork. Like, like, like yo, son, son told, even though it was paperwork. So what I'm saying is, so what I'm saying is, a lot of times, right, I ain't gonna front van, but somebody came to me and said that your nigga, I do that ain't seen eight years, yo, son ain't, son is suspect. I automatically put him in that same category because at some point, you don't get the suspect title. You understand what I'm saying? That sus title is a is be, being called suspect is like being called a rap, my nigga. It's the same thing. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You ain't doing per you in limbo. Cause in limbo. cause you call me sus birthday party. I'm not inviting you to my house. Fuck him being a rat. He's sus. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now nah, you gotta watch yeah. that nigga. He a grind yeah. ball. You got stick up kids that's not considered grind balls. Am I right, man? We got niggas that rob yeah. niggas for a living, but he a good I, nigga, though. To me, I look at it the same way with, 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 with rob niggas, with, with stick-up kids. Yeah. If I know the niggas are stick-up me, oh, hell no, we not, I'm not around you. Yeah. So, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, so, so I think because the way the information came out and it was articulated, it was articulated a little wrong, man, where we focused on the paperwork and not scientific logic. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? And scientific logic is, I want to get and money, then, so I'm not even a hater. I just, you know, and, and, that, and right, and, and I want to bring it back, and that's the thing with the whole Meech, the whole, you yeah. know, uh, Blue Da Vinci and Jeezy. Yo, what people so, gotta understand is, it's the same. This nigga, yo, it's not about. Sometimes it's not even about the ratting. We're looking at, oh, he told you, nah. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it's, it's, it could be just the basic fact that, yo, you stop fucking with me in my time of, in my in my lowest point. Facts. And you separated from me. So now, stay that way. We keeping it that way. Because such that's activity. How, that's what I think is going on. I'm going to be, you know, funny though? Before you said, man, you are, I, I, now I'm going with your route. You didn't, you didn't want to fuck with me. You want to distance yourself. I'm just a rapper. Listen, I'm just a rapper. I got nothing to do with what they doing with. I ain't know what they was right. doing. And you might even said that in a statement. Like, I don't know what they was doing. But like, what you say, you know what they doing? I was just a rapper, right? Man, and it could be, you know what I'm saying? And again, that I, I always remember when Blue Da Vinci, he, he literally tried to go through his own paperwork and say, you know, well, I admitted to my part and this and that. And it's like, well, hold on, bro. It's like saying, you know, it's like me and Zeke rob a bank and then I go, you know, I get caught and I'm like, all right, y'all, come on, y'all, we caught. We caught. <laughs> you, 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 you ain't admitted. You didn't get you didn't get arrested by yourself. That's a fact. You know you know what I'm saying. So when you admit to something, you're admitting to what? That this is a big conspiracy. A big one, bro. Anything you admit it to, you standing next to me. Yo, that's, that's a fucking fact. What I think is going on. That's why I look at like his whole snitching thing, whatever. The, I'm not accusing that man of nothing. I don't know. Yeah, I feel, I feel and it. I respect it. And I'm gonna respect, respect it. And I have with that. It's that like, and that's why I'm gonna really, admit to. Is your small admission causes this big, you know, snowball effect 
to call, you know what I'm saying, to happen. And that's what all happened. Him not saying nothing just created the the, the, the wild the clout that's running around here. But you know what though? But, but, but you know what though? Some people look at it as good marketing is better, but negative marketing is, is, is just as good as, you know what I'm saying? How I look at it is like, like look, like, like look at Blue Da Vinci. He's talking about they're not playing with my name in a, in a, in a show, right? We not we haven't got past me being nineteen yet, have we? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the part of the show we in, he's still in D town. Niggas are still getting shot at. We got the old pimp nigga running around with the dirty Afro on, smoking everything, moving, <laughs> playing checks. Right, he playing right. checkers. We haven't even got close to you yet. You and nigga right. they met in their travels. I cause I thought Blue was on the show the way he talking. I said yo, let it go with this shit. L.A. You, you understand what I'm saying, man? Am I, am I losing my mind? No. We're, we're, no, we're, no. we're still in the park. Like, we haven't even got close to you. We, right now, we're at the bitter ex-baby father. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Running around smoking everything moving. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still fucked up on this shit. Like, what the, what the hell's wrong with the blue? What cocaine is? Don't play with my name. So now what happens is a young nigga does what young niggas are supposed to do. Shorty white socks, foreign cars, and these million dollars worth of chains they couldn't wear at the fucking Latin quarters in 1987. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't gonna front though. <laughs> no, you know, wifey asked me yesterday, wifey said, what was dangerous? What was more dangerous, Brooklyn or Queens? I was like, Brooklyn always just been dirty and grimy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But yeah, Queens, yeah, got, got, yeah. Queens got the spots though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, Queens got yeah, Queens got spots, you know, certain places. <laughs> places. And and Queens has places that you wouldn't think it's had dangerous. gangsters. Yeah. You went there and then you'd be like, oh, oh shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I I could take you in on, in blocks in flushing. In flushing and you like flushing. You alright. And I'll take you there, and then I'll take you to certain projects. I'll take you to the Bland Promenade and shit like that. Yeah, I've been there before Street, Promenade. And you yeah. be like, whoa, whole shit. Then I'll take you to Corona. Yeah. And, and East Elmhurst. I used to live out there when I was a kid, though. Bland, Bland mm -hmm. Projects. Yeah, yeah, dangerous spots, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's mm -hmm. why, that's why, that's why I changed Roosevelt Avenue. That's why I changed the, um, the philosophy of the show, because... It's a show where the people get to speak. Because a lot of times we have these shows and we want to keep it on this and that. And it's like, now let the people speak that was there. Because I know y'all all got a voice. I know what we told you. Definitely this old school shit. Y'all be like, hell no. Because we all grew up in a different time, a different era, different areas. Mm -hmm. I, like, I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. I'm from Harlem, East Harlem, right? Mm -hmm. when, the, when they first locked up Prince in them, right? I never thought that those niggas was getting that type of money until they said in the New York Post how much. Because I remember the first we went in Queens, most of us was the Coliseum. We was dick riders at the Coliseum because the shirt came. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right, right. Most of right. us, they go to, <laughs> right, right. They go to goats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me. Right, right. And so, and 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 then you got to realize, so when you go into like places like that, Forty Projects is right there. Yo, never went there. All you got is you if you go across all you gotta do is go across um something, eh? Watch it. Right on the other side of your college. Yes. They walk right there, you know what I'm saying? You know, um you know, you got people like Grandmaster Vic, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Shout out to the legendary, you know. We have a we have a mixtape history out there in Queens that's second to none. Buddha Barber. To none. Buddha Barber. I Vic, love. Everything starts with, 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 with Vic. Vic, yes, you know yes, everything, everything yes. Everything starts with him. But, 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 that, but that's besides the point. It's just that, you know, we we all have different experiences. We all, you know, Harlem is Mecca. We all know Harlem is Mecca. Listen. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's, you know, it's just, Queens has a, has a variety of different, you know, places. And you wouldn't think that you know I, I i i always say this queens is a sneaky place yeah they queens is a sneaky place you know away. If, you, if you chill you if you cool you just you just moving through it's like nothing 
once you start dealing with the streets out there, it can get kind of mixy a little bit. Now, I'll ask you a question. A so, do you think, not, not, not taking it from Chef Debbie, shout out to Queen, shout out to Grandmaster Vic, shout out to 40 Projects, Baisley, something, Fox. Um, do you think Blue was more mad that he should have pitched this BMF story before 50? Do you think he dropped the ball on that all the way? I think it's preemptive. I think I think he kind of knows, like, all right, they may, you know what I'm saying, they, they, either, either I might be blacked out, they might X me out, you know what I'm saying, they might mark me out or whatever, you know. I think he's just, I think he probably heard something and now he's putting out his little statement to get in front of whatever 50 and me to whatever they decide to do should they put him in the story, you know? Hell yeah. Uh, that's what I think it is. I think he's just trying to get in front of something, you know? Hell he yeah. might be trying to get in front of, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Crown, Crown Court TV getting his paperwork. His <laughs> paperwork. Straight up. Hell and yeah. Then, you know, you know what I'm saying? He live and direct with a female voice. <laughs> testifying, testifying about what really went on. What really know? went on? You ain't you heard? Yeah, what? shout out to the. See, that's what I'm saying. I, me personally, shout out to the to the brother China Brim. China, my only critique would have been, you should have got that paperwork to Crown TV courts. If that paperwork was authentic, you should have got it to him and let him discern it. And, and that would have, and then all of all of the refuting, all of the speculation would have been done deal. Yeah, but we, yeah, you know, you know, those, you know, you know, Crown. That's my boy, man. And and we speak daily, every day. And um, he did a me because you know he he had already posted that paperwork two years ago when it first came out during the Treyway situation. Right. And, um, right, right. He reposted it because I don't, he just wanted to be because he was revamping. We just got caught up in him revamping um, the the, the, yeah, the, 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 the case. I, I, I mean, I, I'm I'm saying that I'm I'm being you know. I, yeah. I know what it is. We all yeah. know. You know. What I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot more that he got in there that he's just not going to put out in the streets because you know. So, you know, sometimes, man, we, you, you know, like I said, we don't know what we're reading. So it's just like, I'm not going to put something out there that I may not be too sure of. You know what I'm saying? True. Exactly. Exactly. Because that, and that's my point. Yeah. Because if you would have got it to him, he, I know for a fact he would have went yeah. through it and whatever discrepancies would have caused yeah. him to not do it. That's my point, man. That's family. That's, that's family. But, but, but look where we at now. Now, now look where we at now. Yeah. And and, and 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 we're off to, you know, a better place now. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Jimmy never said nothing. You know, no matter what, how we feel, Jimmy never said nothing. He never shot at it. He just resumed with him on the be a lobby boy. And and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, that part I respect. I respect the fact that he wanted to see where, how far this cloud of smoke is going to go. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So... Even though if I see Jimmy about to shoot the five, um, I definitely appreciate the cloud of smoke. He never, he never said that, no matter what the people were saying. He never right, said, right. even Shooter, when Shooter bowed out, he never said nothing against the content. You know what I'm saying? He just said, right. I'm bowing out on some respectful shit. Y'all niggas won. I'm not doing the internet thing, and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and, and, I'm, I'm, I'm a yeah, huh? I'm, I'm gonna leave you with this because I'm gonna let. I, I've been I've been on this phone too long, and I apologize. Yeah, you could, you could, you could, man, you good, bro. But I, I'm gonna just say this: what I what I appreciate, the reason why why I rock with this show, my listen, yeah. is because I appreciate the fact that you leave the emotion out of it. Yeah, you speak your opinion, you have your opinion, you discern what you believe is fact and fiction, yeah. but you don't get to you don't you know what I'm saying? Up in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your water. As my grandmother would say, yeah. if you hold your water, you don't sit up there and lose your cool. Some of these other guys be getting Crazy. way too into that. The emotions lose control, bro. Yeah. And that's when the it gets it gets mixy, man. It get mixy, man. It get mixy. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I just salute you for 
You know what I'm saying? The videos, I don't always agree with everything. You ain't supposed to, but you're not supposed to. What I respect, what I respect is, I respect how you relay your message. I got another call. Debbie, appreciate it. You doing your thing, my brother? Yes, yes. Yo, I salute you. Oh, shit, my bad. Oh, man. Hello? Hello? Yo, what's up? What's up, what's up? No music in the back. It's good. Where you calling from, good brother? I'm good, son. Where you calling from? Calling from Florida. Yeah, shout out to Florida, man. Shout out to Florida. Isn't that where your man at? Your, your man, Blue Da Vinci? Right around in the big cars. What's up, man? Yes, 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 yes. He in Miami. You know, I see him all the time. You know, he be sliding through with bitches in the mall, shit like that. You know, he be sliding and shit, but I just wanted to, uh, Bring something to your attention how that Zaya shit work when it comes to paperwork, you know, because there's different types of paperwork. You know, you have a 5K1, you have a safety valve, but in order to get these types of paperwork, you have to have some level of cooperation, whether you are uh, agreeing with what they already have or you're helping them to fill in the gaps because the feds move off information. It's different than when you get bad by the state, you feel me? Oh. So a lot of times dudes be like, oh, I didn't tell, but dude, the certain kind of paperwork you got, you have to tell in order to get that paperwork, bro. Because they're not going to let you go as far as you trying to go, honey. That's uh. big facts, bro. The feds work out the information. Wow. You agree to tell them. White folks that Big Meech was the leader. You didn't have to wow. say, well, oh, that's what you said. Big means five to ten bricks. All you had to say, well, Big Meech, the leader of the hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron, hold on. Is that what he said? Big facts, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder why niggas ain't fucking with him. Hold on, I didn't know he yeah. said all that. He said he the same paperwork my fucking uncle got, bro. My uncle got bad by the streets, dealing with some big time niggas, and he did the same thing. Same thing Jim Jones did. Why you think Big Meese do plead out to not take it to trial? Because they had all them dudes who was going to testify, they took it to trial. So the niggas oh. caught down to 50 30. That's Hold on. That shit read, Hold on. Hold on one second. Avery, we need you to call in. We need you to call now. We need, hold on, you need a voice from Abby on this one. Abby, where you at? We need you to call in now. Cause see, you know this. That's crazy. You know somebody paperwork. Hell yeah, yo. You stand to be a rat. You could be a dude who got, got bagged around the corner. And told you, oh, such and such got 300 bricks in the house. Hold on one second, hold on one second, good brother. Oh, we need a word from Abby on this shit. Abby, this is what niggas is doing. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We call old boy back. You know the Z, all you guys from the 80s. Yeah. We can't tell you niggas. Hold on one second, Ron. Ron. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Abby. Is that what niggas is doing? The crime dog. Let's go back to that. When they had the kids trying to snitch. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Niggas was giving out crime McGruff dogs because I had a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like when you walked up, right? And you got the dude snitching for honey buns and coffee. He never ain't nobody paperwork. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, party people. Hold on one second. Hold on. We're trying to bring this in the building, man. Snitch on you for a hot coffee. you here? <laughs> and a square. Hold on. <laughs> These niggas, Charlie, you here? Hold on one second, hold on one second, hold on one second, hold on one second, party people. We got, we got, we got to take our turns on this shit. China, your man said beach is the plug, my nigga. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo. <laughs> the paperwork. Hold on, hold on, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. You gotta hear this shit. One other time. We, we said Meech is the plug. <laughs> the plug. The man. My 
Andrew Meach had wrote home to one of his homies. It got the letter. It's all like all this is not speculation. This is pure fact. So, but Meach wrote his man in his own words, in his own handwriting, and said, "Yo, this nigga is janky. He wasn't calling back. Then I got the paperwork because Meach was trying to fight his case. The lawyer told him, "Nah, chill, bro. We got too much on you. Your they got too much on you. Your brother snitching. The nigga blue snitching. The nigga said, I don't understand what blue could even tell him because we only kept blue around and put the money inside the stash boxes because the nigga had such little ends. He never even dealt with he never even dealt with the going into getting the narcotics and all that stuff. He, no, he, wasn't, he wasn't that deep. He wasn't that deep. He was just the face of the BMF uh for the because they was trying to bring make blue the rapper. That's all blue. Was I to be with Jeezy came. What Jeezy came and then Jeezy was more hungrier than Blue. Blue wanted to be the cute nigga and all that. Jeezy said I wanted to get put on, and that was another nigga that's janky. He another one that's yeah. You know, Jeezy was same too. Because remember, Jeezy was brought up in the paperwork when you had a dude giving the statement that he seen Jeezy come to the trap house. Yep. Get work. So why didn't the players pick him up? Everybody know that your name is brought up in the fat case, bro. You getting bagged and you getting costed. Yeah, but see, this Woo. is the part that no that nobody understands when it comes to the feds. The first one to squeal gets <laughs> the deal. That's just how it works with the, the first feds. one to squeal the gets the deal, is, baby. They know everything. They just want you to piece it together for them. Is they pyramid right? Is they white boy? Is there white boy that actually? Is it? You know this hierarchy. You know this hierarchy. Correct. That's all they want to know. We think that this nigga is at the top of the uh, of the pyramid. Can you give us more information to prove what we are speculating? And then you get a nigga like Blue who said, "Nah, nigga, I'm trying to come home." Yep, that was him. His brother did this to this. And he's like, oh, thank you. That's what we needed. Okay, well now that you have admitted to being a part of this criminal enterprise, now you gotta tell us everything. Where you kissed on the corner, where you kissed on the corner, where you jaywalked, and all that. And if we find out that you're lying, we will come back and we will charge you with everything that we had on you and what you admitted to. That is called a proper session, okay, where you fill the beat. Now, if you are a cooperating witness and you say to them, nigga, I'm willing to go on the stand, F me, F his brother, F, F BMF, period, you get the 5K1. You get the five K run status because now you are basically a deputized federal agent. That's all that's basically it. So when y'all sit around and y'all wondering why Blue did what he did, Blue already know how petty 50 Cent is. He already knows. He knows how petty he is. He knows it's sooner or later in season three or four of this BMF series, we're going to start talking about you, Blue. And then what you going to do? Like, then what you going to do? So Blue trying to get you the value of your charge. But in order for you to get that, you have to admit to what they had. That's a fact.
it just gets hard. That's what happens. So now we watching the house. We watching the house. We need to know who's bringing in the pounds. Yeah. Who can we get? We find the weakest link. They always know the weakest link. To it's go the with. rapper. Nowadays, it's the rapper. Lose to lose, uh, who is it's not the rapper. Losing for their man to them. They they already know this. This is how they do things. How do you think Blue was so like? Blue was very important to them. Okay, it was already we had the brother. That was enough. Because I, I, I don't know how his brother get past this because his brother snitched on him. Meek's, Meek's brother snitched on him. It's not just just Blue being janky. All of them, you know, like but Blue made himself. He put himself out there already. It was already speculation. Nobody was even talking about you no more, Blue. They was letting you go ahead to come out and to threaten Fifty and his son. Like, why would you? Do, his baby boy. Like, who? Who is behind you? Who's the power behind you? You talking like that because you know you got the feds running right behind you. That's why. That's the only thing I could come up with because who's his muscle out here? All the BMF is gone. And uh, according to what I I know and I've read from Nietzsche's own handwriting, he done said the word that you ain't right. So who's this muscle you coming with to shut down production and do all these things? How are you home after, what, three years and you got this big lavish house? That shit looks like a movie set. You got all this money. Who's financing your lifestyle? The feds, nigga. FBI. They go. That the feds don't pay niggas. They pay niggas. You see Alpo home. He's he in his he, he living his life. He got motorcycles, all that. That man ain't had that kind of money before he left. Remember, he laid down rich because he said rich was stealing from him. Nigga, he was he wasn't eating. So yeah. where all this money come from? Because the feds, he he got to get paid. He got to get paid. He on. He is deputized, bro. I need you to stop going Yo, into your Hold on, you're wrong, you're wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second, you're wrong. Uh, well, hold on, hold on one second. Say the most popular does not mean that you're not a rat. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. You're wrong, you're wrong. I, I got to take some more callers. I appreciate you calling in with your perspective. I got to get some more callers and I appreciate you, bro. You heard? Hold on one second. Yeah. Yo, what up? Don't put no music in the back, brother. Hello? No, no, no. Hey, how you doing, brother? Listen, mm -hmm. I got a question, homie. Like, I know we probably have these stuff to talk about rats and paperwork and all that. I've been in the business a few times, so I understand the whole type of stuff, right? But it's another subject matter that you need to touch on, homie. There's a lot of real white dudes, a lot of stand-up dudes that's in, the, that's in jail that can't even make commentary because nobody's doing nothing for these dudes that they speak so highly about. What is that? What? 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 In the background, in the background, in the background. That was in the background, bro. Alright, we off that. We off that. I'm listening. Yo, you hear me? So, all right, all right. when the nigga in the street doing what he doing, he go to jail, Who problem is that? Yo, it's nobody's problem, homie, because you got everybody name dropping these dudes in these songs. Rest in peace, this, yo, the homie, what's your going real bright? Can't wait till you come on. They ain't sending them a coin. I was there with them. I know they ain't sending them yeah, a coin. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely right. Cause, but they you know, can't be right when they come home. They dad, 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 I'll go some money, you come home. A few people, they, they can't be right. Well, only real dude that, that live in the spot, I was at Hazleton USP. I was at Allenwood USP. See? I was with a lot of real right dudes and reputable dudes. They ain't getting nothing from nobody. Mm. Okay, now I understand what you're saying. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I understand yeah, yeah. that, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, I respect that. Do stand up dudes. I'm saying a lot of people stand up dudes, but simply stand up and dudes still ain't doing nothing for them. And that is some of the shit that the feds use to get the rats to say, yo, yeah. I'm telling you, 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 you don't tell, and nobody gonna do nothing for you. They like, damn, yeah, you're right, because the real nigga that I know, ain't nobody doing nothing for him either. Now that's the yeah. shit. That, that little shit they use. You understand? Know Yes, yeah, it yeah. ain't about, I'm going to be honest with you how I see things nowadays. It ain't about if you're real. It ain't, it, it, that real shit, that gangster shit, it ain't about that no more. It's about popularity. It's about pop, popularity and that bag. Right. Mm -hmm. That's no, it. No, 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 that's a big fact. I'm going to tell you the real estate. That's it. Back I respect your movement. I respect your platform, right? Well, I tell a lot of my dudes, man, at the end of the day, man, it's all about telling the best vibe. I think you think it's telling the truth to get 30 years and die. You see the, you see the big, big, bro, make more money than the big, bro, but he sold the story better, huh? That's, see? And that's some real shit. And, and, and from what I heard, 
don't know if it's true. He ain't giving him shit, and he got his name. Yeah. So whatever the case may be, my thing is, man, these dudes are so caught on being a village dude, and a village dude will be the incarcerated dude. It's all about to the best line. You know, you got Hollywood and everywhere else. Then the Washington got an Oscar for playing Trainer Day, not for being a, the, the real end of Washington. He told the best line. Avatar's the biggest selling movie because it's a blue female flying around with tails. Nobody want to see real shit. Yeah, the gangster, the real shit is open nowadays, man. That shit open. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. I'm being honest, allergic man. to the truth. I'm being honest. Okay. Niggas, niggas don't care. Okay. Yeah, facts. Right now, you could be telling the truth. You could be, you could be saying some real shit, and Man. niggas that click off on you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. want to hear some stupid shit. Some exactly, exactly, exactly. That's what yeah, they talking don't... about. Man. Right now, right now, we're just talking about some some uplifting shit. You feel me? Right, right. And that's you... important. Part, homie. How many people you think? How many people you think will listen to us? They're not going to listen until we sensationalize it. And until it's sensationalized and it, it taps into their little emotions, then we're not saying nothing. We're just a bunch of old niggas. Man, uh, mad at the world. We hate him. Like, you know, like, that's what people do. But I, mean, I get it. I get it. The bottom line of the dollar sign the same way, you know, with at some point in time, like, I'm a real big advocate on looking out and reaching back to people that have them responsible with and people that I know is there and stand up doing you know what I'm saying? That's I don't give a about it or what you want to talk about. It. If I can't reach back and show the seat that's there, I make sure this dude got this, um, this, this, um, tough magazine or these yeah, old kind of magazines that need two ten dollars of commentary, I press those buttons. Yo, you know what's so funny? Yo, you know what's so funny? You said that. I salute that. you for doing that. I salute you. Those have been, that have been yeah. So, Yo, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I'm. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you some real shit, right? Whack one hundred, right? For everybody say that wax is all of a sudden. Yo, 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 yo um, you, 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 um, whack one hundred. Was down with K Slade. K Slade has a magazine, right? But K Slade, Wack 100, been with K Slade for a lot of years. A lot of people may not even know this, but he's been running with K Slade. He's been in New York politics. He's been around. You know what I'm saying? So this, this is not no new internet thing where F New York and New York dudes and he's been around. You know what I'm saying? Um, K Slade's from my neighborhood. K Slay showed love to a lot of his dudes in the penitentiary. If you know what I'm saying, shout him out, show him love. I'm going to tell you something that's real, what you just said right there. You got dudes arguing about other dudes they haven't sent $10 to yet. You know what I mean? But it's just good to say their name online. Like, yo, that's my man, though. I just, I just, yo, D, but I just feel that at uh, some kind of level, you know, and I'm just speaking from loosely speaking, like, the niggas that these niggas drop, they get some Every time they name drop, they should get royalty. Yeah, it's a fact. That's a fact. Because it ain't flowers. Niggas is using niggas for cosigns. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Niggas is using niggas like, that's my man right there. So these are the reasons for these topics to try to stop another child from going down these same, route, these right. same routes in the streets. You understand? Like, this is the whole thing. If we could reach one kid from making these same foolish mistakes that others right. have made before, them, whether they ran it or they stood up on, and on a square, it don't matter. You don't have to live this way. You may think that because the environment you in that this is the whole world no the whole world does not have to be as dysfunctional as where your environment is okay so you don't you can think better take the lessons that are being presented in front of you to make better decisions when you are a young kid they don't make logical decisions they make decisions based on their emotions so we have to be able to find out how can we get these kids to feel what we say not to hear what we say, but to feel what we say, so that we can look out into the world and be more productive in society, and they don't have to worry about having paperwork or being looked at as a charity. If you're just sitting on spooky stuff, it's funny, sick. One thing I got to do is try to promote that amongst the youth, and the people that they idolize, and promoting the same and and
But that's the point of this. The snatch that it's like it's it's basically like King Erna. We here to snatch that honor. That's it. We we, we take it off the Shout back. King Erna, you heard? Right. Go on Instagram and they get gold to help an old lady down the block. Go on Instagram and post to everybody up here. This dude to help the old lady challenge. Let's see what that do. That's a fact. That's why I love when the real people call. Bro, I love when y'all call, bro. The real ones call. I love when y'all call because you're speaking from uh, experience in, in, real, in real reality, bro. I ain't never violated an old lady. I ain't never so... Whatever I was doing in the lobby, he shut down from like three to six because the kids came home from school. You niggas is following jail niggas. I'm sorry, BC, but tell them why was you in that lobby? What made you feel that you needed to be in that lobby? Because I was uh, poor. You said already on your own that you had a mother and father. So what was your decision for going out there? What a, made you feel I'm gonna tell you, that you what needed happened. to be in that lobby you know why? what you was doing? You know why? Because and what makes you think differently now? Because when I, first, they need to see. when I first hit the lobby, they need to hear that. When I first hit the lobby, right, this is, this, this is, this, this is the Zeke Black story. I like that. I used to write graffiti with my man. He used to write on the walls, Key Nitty PT-131. We went from writing graffiti to digging pockets, but I wasn't really a stick-up kid type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know I mean? So that wasn't my avenue. Then one day, it was a girl in my projects that fucked with niggas that D. Freeze talked about, Calvin. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Allegedly. And she had work. And we was, me and my man, we was hustling to buy spray cans, my nigga, you know what I mean? And you know what I said that day? I said, yo, you know what, bro? I can get money and refresh every day, bro, you know what I mean? And it took us two more summers. And when those two summers came, I said, I'm my own man. Because I want to be a man. I wanted my own crib. I wanted my own car. I wanted my own garments. I got tired of coming, like, you know what I'm saying? Mommy buy me this. I have to wait the dad come around, you know what I'm saying? Being poor and fucked up. I, I want to get out of fucked up conditions, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I first hit that lobby, we took it to the moon, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And where I'm at now is, I see now that I wasted so many years in the lobby, but my daughter's my age and my son's my age. And they're in college. And I'm going, damn, just with a little bit of love and staying focused, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Who knows what? I, I, I might have been a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I realized that my goal for development is my kids. So what I want for my kids, I want for your kids. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? That's why it's hard for me to claim game. Because I know the average game I'm going to meet is a little nigga. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? How can I tell you to put in work and be in, put in pain and be solid and be a real wife? But I'm telling my daughter, stay out the streets and, and become a doctor. I'm con that, that's a contradictive life. One, it's either you in or you out. That's the word of the streets, you know what I mean? In or out. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I, I, that, that's what changed my life, man. Because he went from, because I know for, our first edition was getting fly. Buying clothes, getting so your fresh. First intentions were materialistic. All the now, way. How do we stop, do we way. stop those other materialistic views from making the same detrimental choices that you have made? Because you like, you understand now that that was a detrimental Hell yeah. So how do we stop somebody else from that like from just ruining their growth? How do we how do we do that? We know where the problems lie and yes. we gotta come up with the solution. With the solution. You understand? Not about hating on Jimmy or hating on Blue or hating on anybody. Blue, the point of the matter is they are glorifying the Hold on one second. Hold on one second, party people. Our society and our people that look like us. Okay, they are they are steering the youth in a wrong way. Yeah. So um, when we make these when we make these videos and we come up on it and we're expressing our opinions about the jankiness that. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I need to keep calling. Jimmy wasn't ready for the streets. He should have never been in the streets. Obviously. Hold on one second. Hold on. We got another caller. Hold on one second. Hold on, brother. Told to save themselves. 
are telling you and showing you that they did not have the integrity and the like the mind capacity to be able to deal with the consequences that come with the streets. Everything you do has a consequence. Whether you do something good or you do something bad, you have to learn how to make better choices. Yeah. Now they already know all that. Yeah, one more. Get in the game. Yeah, where, where you from? Where you calling from? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. One second. Where, where you coming from? Where you calling from? Where you calling from? I'm real. I'm real. Fans got a 97% conviction rate. I'm in the 3%. I'm in the 3%. I just beat them. I just beat the state the same year, defending myself. See, what people don't know is that the fans, the fans got a 137 and they got a 230. Right. What the hell is that? And then one of these, the 137 is basically saying like that you will you will cooperate and willing to testify. Oh, I never knew that. Whoa. That to say, and you got the two third that say that I'm that I cooperate, but I'm not willing to testify. So what you got is seal records. People don't know about the seal records. Like like um one of the interviews said, dude, uh, it was a girl dude like yo man. Some of these motherfuckers since paperwork is not even like you won't even be able to find these shit because they still like like how I feel like in the case of T.I. You get what I'm saying? Like these, you got a lot of informants out here who are sealed. Their paperwork is sealed, so you would never know that they rest because they got y'all talk about five one K. That's the that's the typical shit. So you know the fans that got around that because we ain't finna just keep letting people got they on expose our got they on informants. So yeah. now they got it to the point where, so you got to be deep with this shit, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to, when you talk to people about rats, my nigga, it got to be people that defend themselves. It can't even be people that even got attorneys no more, bro. It can't even be people with attorneys no more because they still lack the full in-depth legal powers. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So everybody keep getting in here, going back and forth by saying, bro, it's as simple as hell, my nigga. He said something about her before. I've been getting caught up. I'm out here in Carolina, my nigga. I'm out here in North Carolina. I done talked to Sharon the Worm. You get what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sure. uh, Free Sharon the Worm. Free Sharon the Worm. Prison, bro, because I, I went to his girl. I did the same thing. I'm on YouTube. I'm checking out all y'all shit, man. All this gangster shit. The New York shit. The West Coast shit. I went over there. I'm on Kev Mac video. I'm, matter yeah. of fact, I'm the only one on the Kev Mac video that he didn't broadcast because I'm on there going so hard that how they fucked up. How they shit out there so fucked up. How they praising this crypt, crypt, all this. I mean, you know, the, the, the. The negative shit of the crypt shit, you get what I'm saying, and not highlighting the positive shit of how they gonna do it. How you gonna be an OG after starting all this shit, and then when y'all wanna get out, now you wanna kick the bucket? No, that ain't how you got down recuperate. That ain't how you resuscitate. That ain't how you rehabilitate. Yeah, yeah. Now you gotta get back in the mix, nigga. You said you gotta get back in the mix with your new perspective and make sure that perspective is being pushed. You get what I'm saying? The same way you got them DP a nigga for goddamn shooting a motherfucker or doing something that ain't uh, 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 ordained or authorized. The same way y'all deep, the same way you DP a motherfucker, I tell you I don't be shooting at this motherfucker. The same way I'm a DP I tell you we ain't fighting over colors no more. But the blood, but that, and this why I'm getting on the West Coast for. But like I say, that's the only one. Uh, 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 number seventy one. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in which I'm in seventy one. This is my word, bro. My name's Snipes, my nigga. Yep, I'm the first yep. artist to win the humanitarian award. I'm the first artist to win the uh, uh, county commissioner award. I don't want my love to you. I got yep. five books, bro. I just uh, I published print. Yo, hit my inbox. Yo, hit my inbox. I'm saying like I told you to talk to Sharon the Worm. Yo, hit my inbox. Go to my IG. The one that got uh, accused of killing uh, 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 the dude from uh, uh, Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? I just, see, see, I'm already in the bigger shit. I'm, I'm, I'm running the politics and all that shit, but I ain't removing myself from the projects. Bro. I ain't removing myself from the hood. And my response, you know what I'm saying? I ain't removing myself. And that's what a lot of older niggas doing. They're removing themselves. And I understand because you don't want to catch no charge working over a little 17 year old or working over 20 year old, somebody the same age as your child. You know what I'm saying? But that's your responsibility, nigga. Because when you got in the game, ain't nothing bigger. Fuck the B, fuck the C, C D B D Vice Lord B stuff. Nah, no, ain't nothing bigger than the African nation, nigga. It's the African nation, bro. I'm from Winston Salem, North Carolina, I'm the first southern child of the Black Panther Party, bro. We still down here on that blackness. You know what I'm saying? And everybody getting away from that. Harlem is yeah, goddamn yeah. black Panther. Shout, shout out to Kansas City, Harlem, shout out to KC, you, see, you heard? Real. That's Black Panther Party, bro. Yeah, I never knew that, bro. You educating us. You educating us, bro. I never knew that. I 
never knew that. Never knew yeah, what you just said. Wow, I never you, you, you educating us, bro. You educating us, bro. Yeah, it's deep like that though. A lot of people how be you speak. Able, how are you able to beat the fans that they can? Because number one, E Crowder ain't got shit on you anyway. Like you said, but a lot of people get picked up on information, motherfuckers rap. They getting picked up on that. But some but if you go in that motherfucker and you don't talk, you ain't you ain't putting yourself under no umbrella. Now if you get now it's like how old girl was just speaking earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like the information leading, they get to a film and all that shit. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get real with a blank. You're going to know where the source coming from because you ain't dealing with it so many motherfuckers. But me, my situation was, it was some old whole shit. I'm down here. I told him, we black copper party. So we down here really, really pushing that blackness, but we still on our shit. Mm. We ain't allow heroin and all that shit to come in our community. We punishing that shit. Nigga, they ain't up there punishing that shit. Like I was speaking on, I just did an interview with uh, House of Harlem up there. Much love to Shaka and my girl Kia Tall. I just came from Harlem. I just came from uh, uh, performing in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? With Red, with Red Velvet Entertainment. So I, I, and my people's up there in Harlem too. You know, all that Harlem and all that shit ain't nothing but North Carolina. All of they You're right. Of them, all, of them, all, of them, all of them ain't nothing but niggas from the South. They're from the so South. So you ain't say nothing see? about the South. You know what I'm saying? Jay Prince say the South and the West Coast, they the bread. The South is the meat. See what I'm saying? So all the OG, Bumpy Johnson, you know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers come from that dirty. You know what I'm saying? So we, like, down here, we still, like, y'all was saying, kind of slow, and that shit helped us, though. While everybody else was speeding, you know what I'm saying, and, and letting everybody else hook their people on drugs, we was able to sit back and watch motherfuckers, though. We the first chapter of the Southern, black. Like, we, we the first chapter in the South, my nigga. Y'all know how big that region is? So they let you know the prominence of Winston Salem. We the first to have our black owned transportation. We the first to have wow. we, we the first black Wall Street before the Wall Street out there in Tokyo. But all that shit, all that shit. Never grew. knew that, bro. You educating the like people. This is dope. You educating the people, bro. You this is understand? black so knowledge, my nigga. I'm about the fears, my nigga. I, I just beat them crap. And the state the same year, and I defended myself. I got a book out called Yikes the Fear Story. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name, brother? Put the Ziki, put the address in the comment. I'm gonna mail you a copy of my book for free. In inbox, inbox me on IG. I put the information up. Sean the Wire, Sean the Wire, his girl tell you. And I'm telling him about how to get out on. The, I mean, see, my thing with the law, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell people. Like when you you get people in here with street perspective, but all these niggas coming in this motherfucker. Oh yeah, we the shot. Yeah, we the sold dope. All us coming through the same circumstance ain't no different. That's what I'm telling you, West Coast nigga. Like, nigga, that shit ain't no different. It ain't none of that shit no different. Y'all just the first motherfucker that just highlight killing another nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because of uh, how he look. That's it. Y'all the first ones to do that. Everybody else being punished and shit. Up in the South. The first people we heard about Billy Riddle and that killer she was in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, though, the motherfuckers are kill your ass. Cause they'll come down and they outnumber because we ready to fight and the New York nigga pull out and shoot your ass quick. So we, in the South, it was nigga with us quick. And the boys in New York kid, it went really, it went really West Coast. So when we get up on the West Coast, of course, you know, Minnesota society, you know, they started showing us their depictions. Then we started seeing like, oh, these motherfuckers real. I'm like, damn, this shit is different. You know what I'm saying? But when you uh, 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 research, you're like, well, it ain't no different. Nobody, all of us went through the same soul drugs, all this bullshit. But guess what? Ain't nobody in this motherfucker knowing the law. Ain't nobody defending themselves. Ain't none of these niggas defending themselves. They've been a trip. The ten years here, nine years here, and they don't know not one piece of the law to help the little nigga. Bro, I got these motherfuckers on child support. I got them on the legal. I'm talking about the legal administration of child support. I got them on the uh, uh, proper cause here, my nigga. They out here arresting us. If 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 if, if, if Zeke say I did something to him, they'll come and arrest me behind you know doing their job. Cause he pointed me out. They gonna come and arrest me not knowing the truth or the, or the validity of the charge though. And that's what the probable cause hearing is for. So within 15 days of me being arrested after Zeke uh, uh, alleging that I did something to him, me and Zeke supposed to be in court to, to determine whether or not Zeke ain't framing me or not. Man, they is overriding that right there and I called him. So I got him on child, on, 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 this is this is the local ordinance though, in which it's still, you know what I'm saying, a, a federal, because y'all violate our constitutional right to due process. See what I'm saying? Cause you, you just skip the process. That's a procedure. That's a that's a you know what I'm saying? So I got him on that. And I got him on like I told you, I got him on motherfucking uh, uh, um child support. See a lot of people don't know child support is illegal. See what I'm saying? Because child support is federal. It's a federal No, nah, because it's a federal process, bro. 
A lot of people ain't no child support is federal administration. So when you go to court, you got a state judge hearing it. So when the state judge the one adjudicating the hearing, now you done just did separate, you done just violated separation of power. The state judge, it's just like when I just went to the feds, they gave me a blue band. And the state niggas had a black band. See what I'm saying? Difference of jurisdictions. When I went down, when I went to court, I went to a federal court. They went to state courts. Difference of jurisdiction. So why would I go and hear child support, which is federal, it's a state judge and he'll adjudicate. So I got him on child support. So a lot of people don't know this. So this is this is my way, right? That's the reason why I got called up to the Harlem. But well, I don't want a humanitarian award, but I ain't no rapper in the history want a humanitarian award. I got like 10 in your fence down here. The first southern chapter of the Black Panther Party, bro. We're keeping this shit black, my nigga. We ain't letting them mother continue like to call in and to keep, like, uh, educating the youth. This, this is the reason. Oh, for sure, man. Y'all can follow me, man. Open forum. Man, y'all can follow me. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm, look, I just want artists of the year here. I just want, and I'm now nominated because I, I was on tour in West Coast before the COVID, like, two years. Just, and I'm independent, bro. Like, I ain't got no financial engine on that. So now I'm nominated for my Wu-Tang album. Yeah, that's dope. 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 So now I'm nominated for my works on the West Coast. I'm nominated for four awards November 6th out here on the West Coast for Artist of the Year. So if I win Artist of the Year on the West Coast, now I'm going to be the first artist in history to win a bi-coastal Artist of the Year shit. And, and like you said, look at my platform. Don't nobody even know what this nigga doing because too many people run about the wrong shit. Ain't nobody looking for tomorrow's voice. Man, I be up on Instagram, up on the every big artist it is showing them my name on bio. And ain't nobody reading like, damn, what's this little nigga right here doing? And he stayed on my shit. I ain't trolling. Like, I control it like everybody else. Get on here, you pop motherfuckers and make them answer and, and then send them my shit and try to coerce them like that. But nah, I ain't trying to even, you know what I'm saying, build that type of energy, negative energy. And I'm independent. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get no dudes shut on me. See what I'm saying? I'm from this co ed shit. I'm from the projects in the dirty, though, in the south. My nigga Rashim shame up there. I, uh, uh, up there one, I just came with 114th and uh, uh, some shit up there uh, in Harlem. No, mm -hmm. Morningside. You know what I'm saying? Side, the facts, side, facts, the, facts. Not about the park and all that, Manhattan so Avenue and all that. Yeah. My nigga Winter just got out and doing 25. Came, you know, from down here in, 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 in the south. He back up there in Harlem too. But this is what this is what more people need to be focusing on, my nigga. Who are the voices that's going to get? They going to help us peak our our our, our, our uh, 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 awareness, my nigga. You are one of the voices. That's you deep. They never knew the Black Panthers is in the south. Hey, that the first one. Where you at now? Your voice. You're the voice. Don't worry about yes. nobody else, but you keep doing what you're doing, and that's that's what it's gonna be. You reach one. That's what you. The, the whole goal is to reach one. Cause if exactly. you reach one and you get one, that's gonna trickle on. Cause that yeah. one is gonna grow and have children. Then he's gonna yeah. teach his children or the, her children those same principles. We save a generation just by reaching one. Don't like you know if you think pennies, you'll never earn make dollars. You understand? If you're looking at everything as just a penny. You'll never add it up to make a dollar, baby. So don't ever think that what you you're not you're not doing enough. And we need we need other voices, yes. But your voice is a powerful enough. Yeah, let's go. I yeah, no, I ain't stopping, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I ain't stopping. It's just that you know, like I say, man. You know, I'm down here, man. My girl, you know, tomorrow ain't promised. So I really be I'm on that shit for real, man. You know, tomorrow really ain't promised, and I'm still in the shit. That's what I'm telling. Like I'm still in the shit. Like, I'm not in the game, but I'm still in the game, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, I got 12 brothers, 6 sisters. You ain't finna call me, tell me you put your hands on my sister. And, and I got, no, I'm still gonna go see about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't remove ourselves from the dang on, you know what I'm saying, from the street etiquette, bro. And people get shit twisted, too, my nigga. It's a difference between street niggas and these motherfucking projects. And we project babies, my nigga. We move totally different than y'all, bro. <laughs> y'all from the hood, y'all from the outskirts of the place. Y'all live in the y'all live beside it. Y'all ain't yeah. the yeah. we move totally. We, 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 we the project suit, man. That's when you got big saying? buildings. We that's just, yo, yo, that's yo, 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 but niggas need to start differentiating hood niggas, street niggas, and project babies, my nigga. We move totally different in these streets, but whatever they be saying, they because y'all are y'all clothes different. Y'all, y'all stingy as hell, you greedy as hell, you're more materialistic than us, all that shit. Whatever thing project niggas get, we break bread with every nigga that we do. That's just what the fuck it is. That's what every project nigga do if you ain't seen what project babies do. 
Jay Z for me. I mean, it's, like I said, you got some that you know Jay Z for me with all the money. You know, it's a lot of niggas that could do more, of course. But just on the whole totality of it, my nigga, probably, we we totally different, man. Niggas need to start differentiating that, bro. We project babies, my nigga. We already born to help another motherfucker. We already born like that. These yeah. hood niggas came up and take over our personification. They try to personify themselves under the project niggas, under the gold tee. You know what I'm saying? I swag. We take the old school hand-me-downs and, and the guts and shit that the, the master gave us, and we made rest of them. We made delicates out of it. Now we got the old school that look like a goddamn, like, damn, they don't even want the beaver no more. Now they want the project boy with the old school in the wind and the, and the, and the flesh. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, brother, brother. We got one call. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, good brother. Turn the music off in the back, brother. Pardon me, pardon me, brother. I just wanted to... To, to, to Where you calling from? Where you calling from? Man, blue is a rat, bro. That's the whole thing. It ain't no top. It ain't no top. He already got homeboy telling them that he a rat. And that's just been one. And that's when, hey, and that's when you drop the ball. That's what I'm saying. See, that's what people are doing. We doing too much of okay. Snipes a rat. Yikes a rat. But then we want to do a five hour goddamn segment on why. Nah, nigga. What you a rat? You a rat? You burnt. That blaze is burnt. That's it. And now we go on to the positive shit. That's what oh, you do. And, and, and that's why you... That's it. it. Hold on now. You see, Don was up there talking about putting his child support on zero and all that, right? I'm actually part of that wave because I've been around a thousand sovereigns. When they say actually putting in that work to become sovereign, to become outside of the United States of America Corporation and taking away that 13th Amendment and becoming... Like... I don't know if you ever heard of straw man. Niggas no. run around, niggas run around, literally a straw man. If you look it up in the um the black the black law dictionary, a okay. straw man, they'll describe what a straw man is, right? Mind yeah, you, yeah, I love this. I I they go all yeah, the way back to the Federal Reserve and Roosevelt and them putting stock in, in humans that's born in the country underneath our social security number, other than the gold. That they ain't really give too fucked about. If you really look at that that history, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about now. I I know you said I couldn't a uh, uh, straw man. I tell you, you know, country man. I tell you, I know you're talking about now. No, like no, all, no, all no, nah, 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 not straw man like that, my brother. But that's what I'm trying to tell you, right? <laughs> we have people in the United States of America. What's this nice went to jail for this? And they yeah. you know, they, ain't, okay. they ask they asked him in GQ or Esquire. They asked him. They said, you really believe this people not paying? There's a hundred percent. There's people all over the West Coast that's not paying taxes. Yeah. yeah. The, the IRS is a fraud. That I yeah. think it's a long story, bro, but niggas gotta really study how to become a sovereign, how to take your rights back, how to make sure that you're all cat names on your social security card and all that, how you can own that, how you can own your name in all variations. There's a lot of shit that niggas don't be knowing about. Cause you know, we don't talk about this. We talk about we talk about foolishness all day. Because we took a foolish this all day. Yeah, I'm finna do that, bro. I'm finna do that, bro. This is what I'm telling you, bro. I'm finna do that right now. I'm gonna do that. Hand him out, hand him out one person at a time. One person at a time. You really gotta study. You know how long I've been studying that shit? Bro, I'm already listening. You hear me, bro. I'm already, listen. I'm already defending my, I'm already doing it, bro. I'm about to start an arrest the court campaign right now based on what you said. I, I told you I knew what you were saying. I just did, I couldn't identify it. I just saw, man. I know what you're talking about. It. All caps. That's a fact. I understand about it. Look, I'm finna do it. Look, I'm finna do it. Listen, listen, my name is the first initial is all cap and everything else is lowercase. When you look on your social media, you know Mind you, they got certificates of birth where they take a nigga's footprint and handprint at birth. Yeah. At birth. And it's being, and mind you, you ask yourself, who are we in debt to? Are we in debt to Britain, Britain or China? We more in debt to China. Niggas just had a conversation about what happens if the country defaults and what happens to our situation because they've been accruing, they've been accruing wealth on my social security name part of me on my social security number and my name and just like everybody else in the country that's born and raised for years yeah. yeah for years they've been accruing that money and guess what when you put in that work you make that you make that money come to you this is a long conversation i've been studying this since 03 this is a long conversation but bro i can minimize it 
I can minimize it for you, though. I'm, I'm on time already through this, man. It's my word, bro. Look, I got an arrest the court campaign I'm about to start, my nigga. Look, the same thing you're talking about, right? They already, they already started arresting. Look. I'm going to cut you a check. I just had to send some paper. I'm going to cut you a check. Shout out to my nigga Zeke Black. Super universal wavy nigga. Go ahead, my brother. Yeah, more, yeah, much, yeah, much love to the uh, Zeke and the platform, man. Look, I'm about to start a rest of the court campaign, bro. The same thing you're doing. Because, like you say, see, I got a situation. I tried to beat the feds, right? So I got it to, uh, they using my name in five different ways. Understand what I'm saying? They use a NATO artillery snipe. And then I'm giving y'all my gut. See, this paper is real. Yo, 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 bro. Listen, I, I trust me, I know what you're talking about, because I know niggas that walk into the courtroom and seen that gold star print on the flag, and actually yeah. this is a military courtroom. Exactly, because exactly. y'all niggas using my name in commercial situations when y'all trying to bring me to court for criminal. Trust me, I know the way. It's, it's, like, you told, it's, it's like they bring you to a military court then. It's like bringing you to a military court. I'm a civilian. Yeah. I'm a civilian in their country. You're bringing me to a criminal situation where it's really a commercial situation. Look, let me simplify it for you, though. I told you, let me simplify it. Look, they already arresting motherfucking judges and all that shit over there in the UK. They already arresting judges, right? So it's the same thing that I'm finna do over here. I already started, I want to tell you, I already beat the I already got federal complaints in. Look, fella, I already got, uh, 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 uh. I already got federal complaints in. I write my own complaints in there. I told him my own attorney now. I'm down here. I'm going to court. I'm not, I'm not as wavy as you. I'm not as wavy as you. I got off I got off that. I do this for you. This ain't about being formally or wavy or none of that. No, no, hear me out. I was on that island for 11 months for two, for two, 20, 39, two pounds, criminal still third degree, right? Watch yeah. this right? And, I, and they held me on, and mind you, niggas, on the island right now going through this. I put in that 30-30. Niggas have to release me because you got to take me to trial in a certain amount of court days. Is that a trust me? I don't trust me. Niggas fight for these situations. I'm not a cop out type of nigga. Yeah, but don't tell me I'm arresting these judges. Listen, my phase right now, bro. This is what I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna simplify it for you, though. My shit is finna arrest the court campaign, bro. I'm not trying to tell you. Uh, my arrest the court campaign is based on these judges, attorneys, public officials, right? They're not using their full legal name, right? Their public legal name. So, and the dot, like, so I had to go to the Secretary of State. I went to the, so I did, I'm like, damn. I go, I get, boom. So look, he game now. He game, man. He game. So I go to Secretary of State. Family, family. I go to Secretary of State. And I, and I, what I did, I got copies of all of their OSA offices. Listen to me. I got a copy of all, listen to this. Listen, let me just intervene. If y'all look, if y'all Google a long time ago, niggas is putting liens on them judges and the lawyers and things of that nature. He, this is coinciding with the sovereign shit. He's actually having a sovereign co conversation. Okay? Yeah, without me being a sovereign, though. That's what I'm okay. telling you. I ain't even wishing to be no sovereign. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a man regardless. You can't, ain't nobody finna make me sovereign. Ain't nobody finna make me incorporate with me with nothing else. Nah, nah, nah. That ain't being a man. You go, you, you draw your own boundaries. Period. You know what I'm saying? But my point is this. All right, so boom. I got a copy of all the judges, OSA offices. So on the OSA offices, get what? They got their full you know legal you? names. Just like they got on their bar card. Like on their bar card, they got on like, their you know full legal name. They have, Nate, my name is Nathan Artillery Snipe. My boy, so if I'm a lawyer, my bar card going to read Nathan Artillery Snipe. Right? So when I go to court and I'm defending Z, why is that I got N Snipes on the paperwork? Hmm. See what I mean? So now, no. now, 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 what you just did? Now what you just did? Hold on, hold on. Now what you just did was violated a federal law, which is the real identity. Listen, listen, which is the real identity act. Hold on, one person at a time. One person at a time. See up, listen. Listen to the code. Listen to the code. Listen to the code. Don't the chat, baby. This is one person. One person. Hold on, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, good brothers, good brothers. Good brothers, good brothers, hold on, hold on. Check it, check it. This is dope what we just did. This is this is perfect. Yo, this is I I, I enjoy this. I enjoy this. This is information. I enjoy this. But listen, listen. We have to get back. We have to get back to blue. We have to get back to blue. We get it. We get it. Yes, yes. We're gonna put your information in the chat. Let's get back to let's get back to blue. So he broke some shit down to about the safety valve. Let's get back to blue. Now, Zeke, just piggyback on a, a thousand things that's just transpiring at that now, moment. Hey, now, listen to what I'm saying now, Zeke. 
And y'all, yeah. you, what, what DMX say in Belly, bro? Everybody know this, though. We don't. That I never heard. I never heard me tell them. That, that I never heard. That part I never heard. I know that. that, that hey, look, this I is never heard that part. I'm going to send you the link. Yeah, well, both of y'all going to talk at the same time. It has to be. My nigga, I'm going to send you the link. One at a time. One at a time. Family, I'm going to send you the link. Like, this is, I'm giving y'all real food because I was questionable at that point. But then, like, like, bro say, like, bro say, not, but, but then, listen, what bro say. It was, I was just like, bro, now I'm following the process, the processing of it. He took more time. I was like, so, so it kind of like humbled me too. But then when my folks come from the fence, say, I was with me, and woo, 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 I was, and he say, bro, the motherfuckers treating them like woo. He say, bro, but the Migos try to get at me. I say, what you mean, nigga? Because I'm the baddie. Oh, no, he talking about some Oyes. He talking about Python and them. No, no, it said Migos, nah, it said Migos, but Mexicans. He ain't say nothing about no damn Puerto Ricans. He ain't say Puerto Ricans and Trinidadians. Hear me out, hear me out. This is a hip-hop culture type of situation. Yeah, but it's not hip-hop. Yeah, but it's not hip-hop. Yeah, but it's not hip-hop. This is a hip-hop culture type of situation we're in. Yeah, so when you say Migos, they think about the rap. Yeah, yeah. They think about the rap. 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 Yeah, yeah, you got it. Right, for the record, for the record. Hear me out, my brother. You got 15 year olds. Everybody told him to see 80 year olds, 16 year olds. You're right. So when you said that, the first you're right. You're right. You're right. I never heard me tell it. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. I never heard me tell it. I never heard me tell it. Yeah. I'm going to go at me. Yo, hold on. I got one of the I never said me so. Huh? We call fatheads El Salvadorian, shout out to the next 13 niggas. We call fatheads the big head niggas that got to work. He's talking about those guys, guys. He's not talking about the rappers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, yeah. We He's talking saying about, about something about Mission the Phone Call. I never heard so, that yeah, part, but I'm not talking about Mission the Phone Call. But that's my thing, though, my nigga. That's my thing with being there. So I already knew. Hey, yo, Zeke been talking that shit since he's been up here. That's my, I see, I just got locked in on this nigga, bro. Hear me out. I just, I got wild felonies. I ain't got wild. I got about three or four. Leave the felonies alone, and I was underneath that Rockefeller shit. Leave the felonies alone. Zeke been telling y'all the truth. Yo, it, it's much more healthier and much more productive to just come. Yo, listen, an old nigga told me this shit a long time ago. He said, yo, little nigga, you rather go to any other town and make 90,000 in 90 days or rather you make that 90,000 in five years and I have to worry about going to the camp. I'd rather make the 90,000 in five years legally instead of having to go to the camp. Yeah, exactly. That's your freedom right. is more, yeah, your freedom and influence yeah, yeah, is more important. Your freedom and time is worth more than Yeah, your influence, or, yeah, your influence on your youngers and, and our in this community is more important. That's a fact. You get what I'm saying? So, but the whole thing is people need to stop being so selective about who they call not the rest. See now you see more you see more push on Jim Jones than Apple. No, and y'all know y'all hey 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 hey, hey New York know they wrong. Uh, New York know they wrong. Not back to Jimmy man. Jimmy Jimmy Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> New York know they wrong. Hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. But me still thirty. We don't keep that shit all the way to the day. Hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. Flag, flag on play. play. Flag, flag on the play. play. Let that nigga Meech ain't telling. God damn it, but let's keep going. Hold on. Let that nigga like, talk. Hold on. This is his let's way. Hold on. Let's hold on. Everybody speak at a time. Let's give us two, two like a minute or two. Let's get to the point this and move it on. Me, listen, nah, I'm not calling Meech a rap. I never yeah, heard Meech telling. I'm the new nigga, man. I'm from the South, man. Like, I get it, I get it. it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is how we looking at it, though. This is, I'm on. giving y'all the outside perspective. I got you, outside. your perspective from the South. You gave my brother, we all from outside. We all got families, we all in wild states and countries. Let's see, talk, though. Yeah, let's way. do this. Let's do this, yeah. let's do this. China, what you think, China? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're cheating well, my nigga China, like some on belly. How's a long-haired China that was in okay. that Hold on, hold on, hold on. China, what you think, man? I know China feel this shit. Yeah. 
But, but, nah, nah, I'm just, I never, I never heard Meach telling though. I was listening, shit just was going everywhere. That's why I had to plug in, man. If Nicky, I, I, I just pulled up when he was talking, when he started talking that child support shit. Baby, what's wrong with you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. You gotta let Ch somebody get their thoughts yeah, out. Yeah, get their thoughts oh, out. Try it. Try it. Let's do it, Chad. As far as what? But what's the, you know. As about Meach. Um, You're talking about Meach right now. Meach snitching? Yeah, I never heard that one. I'm, I'm a yeah. like I never in my life heard that, so I, I'm not even gonna jack that because me sitting up with he got the I think he got the most time. What, yeah, thirty, right? Man. So thirty, bro. My homeboy got thirty for ten bricks right now, bro. Nigga, that don't equate. That don't equate. That don't equate to no damn me five thousand. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ninety nine for the tunnel Well, who said me snitch? No, yeah. listen, what I'm telling you. Yeah. When goddamn, I'm gonna tell y'all the process. Y'all know how God does it, man. Look, I'm sitting up here watching the same shit, right? And I listen to the the documentary or the beast zone. It's me, right hand man, dude named Old School. It began with a Tito. I don't know if it's, I forgot what his name, but I'm gonna send y'all the link. Don't get it twisted now. I, I got the phone number. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the actual link. Yeah, I'm gonna send you. Yeah, I'm gonna send you. Follow him, nigga. Follow him, nigga. Right, he didn't want to put on game with, with Blue Defense. That's why I stopped fucking with Blue, because him, other than that, I would have known Blue was a rat. So when he said that Meach caught, bro, they got a live tape conversation. Meach get picked up. His first get picked up in Texas now. And he called the dude, and he telling the dude to go drop it off here and do that what I'm trying to tell you. I was like, hold on. Why ain't nobody saying about what Meach saying on the phone right? Like, and then they explain how you got 30. Right, but at that moment, I wasn't registering it because I'm looking on the phone right now. I'm like, okay, he can, he can, he can, he can took more time for his brother. And we, so, I, of course, I humbled myself. But then when my folks just got out of bed, my folks just got out of bed. And he said, bro, I was with me. You know, tell him, my boy, he said, but, he said, bro, the, uh, um, me go try to get, I mean, not me go, my bad. He said, man, uh, Mexicans try to get on um, me. And I was like, for what? He said, because they say he ready. This is what I'm saying. The Mexicans. So, so, so they got the paperwork? Do they have? I don't know. Them? I'm just telling you. This is what my folks say. So okay. now, what you do okay. now? Once, now, once, now once okay. I see you, now once I send you the link of the phone conversation, you finna say the hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotta go. So check it, so check it, so check it. We gotta take more callers. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, do me a favor. Call back. I gotta get more callers in. I appreciate you. Leave your information in the link, bro. Nice, nice. Leave it in the leave it in the chat. You heard? Leave it in the chat. I'm send it to y'all, man. What love? What love? What love? What love, baby? Dirty salvage, bitch. Yo, it's a dirty game, but me in the chat, man. Man, Meach is good, man. Meach is good in the hood. So we gotta correct that, Meach. I never heard that. Whatever that situation is, ain't got nothing to do with us. Him and the Migos or LL Cool J, we ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Don't say, you hear me? <laughs> nah, but you hear me? You yeah. hear me? All opinions. All respect. So I can't shoot him. Put out what it is. That's it. That's it. He's just telling what he heard. What he heard. It's not, it's not like, you know, he said. He's telling what he heard and what he, with the knowledge that he has and He's thinking logically on his logical standpoint. We have respect from that conversation in the time that Meech got for him. Meech, I want to hear the link. That's it. I want to hear the link. So we gonna leave that alone. Because yeah, alone. This wasn't Free about Big Meech. Meech. But you your man blue, but your so man blue. Go back into blue and blue. We can stop the next blue junior from being. Listen, blue. when you are call up here, it's a form process. Say your point and let the other people on the line speak. I love the knowledge. We're gonna do a show on knowledge, born and understanding. That's our whole other day. We're gonna be Michael Max out. We're gonna, it's gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be Michael Max. We're gonna be them all out. But today's show is about. Nah, nah, we're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna put that. We're not gonna put that in the atmosphere. Big Meech is not a rat. We're not gonna, I gotta say it 30 times. Though. We're not doing it 30 times. He's not a rat. That's from his opinion and his perspective. That's what he heard. Who can't, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? People calling in. With that being said, um, 
BMF is, 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 you know what I'm saying, that's a real situation. Whoever want to call up, y'all can call up. But we're not talking about Meech alleg snitch allegations because that's what that man want to say. You know what I'm saying? Gotta let the people, but ain't gonna front though. You gotta let the callers call in. We have to let them call in. We have to allow them to call in with their opinions. We just can't shut nigga down because we want to hear what we want to hear. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? That's it. That's it. You can say Zeke, you tell him. I'm going to do it. Check him off the line. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Come on, bro. Shit is real, man. Like, y'all got to gotta stop this, that. Y'all want to hear other opinions. If that's how he feel, then that's how he feel, bro. We not saying it. Am I right? We not pumping that. that. We ain't putting a thumbnail. Yo, this nigga meets his Rico. We got a caller coming in from New York. You heard? Yeah. Yo, yo, salute, salute, salute. Don't get up. What's poppin', what's poppin'? We're not gonna talk about Big Meech, you never heard that before. That was that man no, talking from no, a southern no, perspective. I just wanted to clear what he was saying, though. Listen, because I heard the uh, phone calls also. I never heard it. I heard the phone calls also. So what he's trying to clear up is, right, when Meech got busted, I believe it was in Georgia when he first got picked up. Yeah, but that situation, well, yeah, right? Yeah, right. With, with, with old boy, yeah, right? What happened was, was that he was calling, he was calling around trying to get his finances in order, and he was talking in code. You understand? That's what Big Meech was doing. Somebody right? playing music. Turn the music off. Turn the music yeah, yeah. off, please. Turn the music off. Well, I don't got no music on, bro. Somebody got music on. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Yeah, ice cream shop. Yeah, yeah, no, that music, it is that. Y'all still hear it? Yeah. No. All right, go ahead. No music in the back. Yeah, All right. so, so that's what the man, that's what the man was trying to say. Because I heard, oh, okay. I actually heard, I actually heard the, the, the talk. And Meek was like, it kind of was a little funny there, but I know what he was doing. He's a trick. He called Hussey. You know who Hussey is? Hussey is a right hand man. Yeah. He's an old school dude that never showed his face. Now, you know, Hussey's all out there in the open. Everybody knows who he is now. Official BMF member. So yeah. what he did was, he tried to get in touch with Hussey to get his finances in order. That's all he was doing. Okay. Come on now, do you think me to walk around a federal... Day? Come on now, and he done told on, on the people? <laughs> no, sir. He, he got to tell on somebody bigger than him. You understand? It's a fact. And most, and there's not much people bigger than him. But well, Harlem Double, saying, Harlem Double, Harlem Double, we got to respect. We wasn't, wasn't saying that. Saying, that man was man, speaking man, that. That that's man like, was yes, speaking that. Okay. okay, so he wasn't saying based upon the phone calls, that was his logic. He was saying based on the phone calls, Meech and the way he ran in the street, he knew better that he was never supposed to do that. That's and what he's trying honestly, to say. Honestly, I, I, I kind of agree with that because every if uh, y'all don't know this, anything, any electronic you use in the precinct or in a jail at the time of waiting for a ring or anything all those things are being reported okay so that's what hold I on think a second that call from me we got call from from michigan hold on hold on that's like hold on that keep saying well, what you're saying i do sis. believe that the caller's perspective feel that right there in his mind that made Meech suspect on top of his folks coming home telling him the stories about how the Mexicans were trying to get at him. So now we don't have the Mexican perspective. You don't have the Mexican perspective. Either. But check out Crown Court TV. He has the case. So, yeah, yeah. It's just a very far fetched story, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, come on. Because you got to really think about it, y'all. Who is really bigger than Big Meech? Like, he always wants to be the biggest. So yeah. Who is bigger than him? You see what I'm saying? If you want to tell them to do bigger than you, you are not going to be able to walk around a federal penitentiary, brother. I'm just going to keep it real. There's no way in hell, even in PC, you're not walking around a federal penitentiary. Yeah. They check your paperwork from the gate. You understand? But you know what? You know what happens? You know what happens? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Harlem, Harlem. Let me tell you something. And this is why I think a lot of platforms don't do this. Because you see, he called in, and that's what he said. But automatically, everybody come at the platform. I don't understand it. He said that in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, this wasn't the conspiracy theory. So now it's like, you got us trying to defend something somebody, somebody said out of his mouth. No, they say what you, do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, why am I defending some shit? That's how he feel. We got to stop trying to shut niggas down how they feel, bro. 
know what I'm saying? I got nothing to do with that. Opinions don't count, brother. Opinions don't count. They do, but, but it's having to do with us. I'm saying, uh, sweetheart, I definitely understand what the female just said. What's yeah. your name, sweetheart? Abbott. Abbott. I understand exactly what you said, though, because at the end of the day, when you get locked up, especially in a federal indictment, you're not supposed to use that phone at all. You feel me? How about the pistol Pete? Use the phone. I actually heard the recordings, and what he was doing was trying to get his finances in order, because he had money all over the place. Yeah. Huffy was explaining that. If y'all look at the Huffy interview, that's his right hand man, the old school BMF dude that never showed his face. All he did was pop out and take care of business. And he explained that what Deets was doing in the phone call. So, I, you know, I got to take it from the man himself that called Blue a rat. He actually called Blue Da Vinci a rat. Yes, he did. He went on the ladder and he actually called Blue Da Vinci a rat. Yeah, he was the yeah, first one to come up here. Yeah, the the snitch rapper, that's what he called him, the snitch rapper. This wow. is from the 50 Boys, the 19th Street. This oh, shout, shout out to Detroit. Hold on, hold on. From Detroit. Talk to us. Talk to us, people. We, we all, we all, I do understand what's happening. But Dexter also got to explain because Dexter knows that the mob helped him get out of jail. He got arrested just like everybody else. And Dexter got out with special circumstances. So mm -hmm. when Meeks was calling him, when Meeks was calling him, he was really calling, you know, dude, how did you get out? But at the same time, he still wanted, you know, some money. So I do understand that fear because uh, me and the family helped, you know, Dex to get out of the chair. Wow, now what's there. happening is, I, I understand everyone focused on blue, but you got to understand 90% of everybody was getting out in five years. If you're going to get out in five years, that means you all the way to five years. Hell yeah, facts. So Definitely. we got the whole crew, everybody getting out full five. I don't care what Dexter say. He got out, and that's, he was out three years fighting his own game. Now, how did he get out? He can't explain why he didn't want to pass the word to Big Lee, how he got out. So Dexter was out, with, and, and I was out of the reason. So as Dexter, listen, he knew who Kurt is, because Kurt ain't going to lie. But, 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 uh, 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 Southwest Pete and Big and, and Big uh, Meat spent five years with no case start. So they took a plea bargain. So if you're going to take a plea bargain, ain't nobody going to testify. That's true. And that's when the fans threw the book on me to get them 2032 uh, uh, to get out of jail. So everybody else going to get out in five years so the book is on them too. Dexter should have been coming out with a book when clearly he only got four or five years after getting out on release on special circumstances. Yeah. Uh, he did get four or five years after you recriminated yourself when they done took the tell off you, they done, they done let you wrong, go back to work. Dude, how did you get out? You need to tell that story. I'm, I'm thinking, me and Dexter, we all grew up together. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Wow, okay. so you're from, so, so you're from over there. That's about, about, Def about things. You can't come out criminalizing people because you get people hurt. Shout out to yeah. Detroit, You understand? Man. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Blue was going to get on that stand and point fingers at, at, at me. I believe, I believe he was going to get on that stand maybe talking about what his role is being a BML because everybody's independent cop mm. they Really, everybody their own fault. BMF ain't no joke. They were moving so much product, but everyone is their own boss, so you can't really point at me or, or Southwest people. Okay. So, so, he so know them. He know them. He know them. He know them. He, them the blocks. It's pissing me off because that's the wrong trying to make money, but at the same time, what did you do? How did you get only four years after you got released and fought your case from outside? <laughs> Yeah, I want to ask you this real quick. So I just want to know, what do we, what do you insinuate in this? Like, I need to know straight up. Like, he's from there. He know them. He made a, he made a question. He, he know them. Question for your logical mind to think. He just said, okay. Dexter, since you want to pose up and and 
focus on Blue and what Blue did to get home. Tell us how the hell you got home on a get special home. Okay. okay. That's just the end of that. You can't be janky. It's like you got milk around your lips, but you're asking everybody, did you Everybody drink else, milk? why you drunk the yeah, milk? Yeah, you pointing out who else drunk the milk. No, 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 bro. You got a whole lip of mu- a milk mustache. So explain that. That's what he's saying. If you're gonna put, if you're gonna bring out somebody else, then you got to expose yourself. That's the whole thing. You can't put well, out somebody else if you janky too and you questionable. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Well, I, I just want to say this, right? That I've studied. Uh, this Hold on, no, no. Right? Like, either this no one was out there in in the world. Just no one was out there. So he was an incognito type of dude for BMS mom, right? He was one of them dudes, like I said before, he didn't show his face. He didn't talk on phones. It was hard to reach him. You understand? So I can see why he probably got the time he got. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, brother. Hold him double. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold him double. Hold him double. Who is a snitch, and then there's several thousand other snitches who, who also got special release conditions and all that, right? Yeah. And how is it that you didn't get picked up neither? You can't, you can't, see this is the problem. We cannot, we can't be playing semantics. We can't be on some, oh, because I like this man's style more, or I like the way that this well, man thinks. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to sway the narrative. The whole point is you're janky. See, that this is it. We're talking about questionable acts. So that makes you a questionable okay, person. Okay. That, that's okay. what we're talking about. We can't keep splitting the hands on this because we like this person's persona or how they present No, no, I'm team. not trying to do that. No, actually, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to just put what's out there, like what's, what's, what's known. You know what I'm saying? Harlem, 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 Harlem. You know what I'm do? Nah, 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 nah. I get it, I get it, I get it. But I, I don't know. Listen, Harlem, I get it. Harlem, 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 I get it. But listen, listen, listen. I want to hit the Harlem, Harlem. See, 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 Harlem, Harlem. Just hear me out. Oh, oh, yo, we're trying to hear the Detroit story. He's from Detroit, my nigga. We don't have to go into all that. But, yo, so talk about, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take it back to the top. Where are you from, brother? He just told me. Now, nah, because you have to get started over the top, but there's too many distractions. I'm a boss myself. You're from Detroit, right? I, you know, I'm a boss myself. So, he, he, um, me, Terry, You grew up with them, right? You grew up with them? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so when the game was getting so saturated with everybody on the street and rolling, it's too saturated for me because everybody I know doing the same thing. So what I had hooked up with was my plug and my business was still was part of ED family, but mine was Jamaican Posse cocktail. I was they I was their go to man. So I was able to work out of the box so I'm like a commissioner. I can go anywhere. You know what I mean? Meese know me. Meese know me Meese know that I use entertainment to get paid. He knows that I brought flavor play through. So a lot of entertainment shit he's doing in Atlanta. He got that shit from me. So because I was starting to bring celebrities to the hood and you know what time it is when you start bringing Hollywood. So um, um, a lot of the stories is being cut out. But when I'm talking about Salsa, I personally play the hand of him getting out of it. It was me, because what I try to explain to everybody, the streets will always set you up. The streets will always see a power they want to hurt and kill you. But I tell everyone, the biggest mob is the government. It's the mm-hmm. Those are gangsters. And if you don't know their game, and they don't know your game, you ain't, you gonna get fouled, you got a 98% chance of winning. So as soon as I saw the homie... Shout to cover you, huh? None of the, none, none, none of the makers got caught up in nothing. See, they, they run these shit smoother than even BML. Hold on a second. Bar, those brothers do that shit, so they, no, nobody getting caught up on that shit. Smitty Brim in the building. Yeah, keep on talking, brother. Hey, I'm telling you, everybody getting rounded up from this. So if you got to ask yourself, everyone getting rounded up, but everyone getting out, they're doing four years. So if you getting out doing four years, you all would cut this. That's a fact. It ain't no such thing. You got to sit there 
and tell your story of how you roll. Facts. So even though Blue told maybe his story, they knew that Blue and 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 Meech was right in. They would get equal share time if they fought to call the buy the conquer. Facts. If you can buy Blue from Meech, and we all know Meech was Blue, a uh, uh, big Meech right there, man. Yeah. And they love Blue. Okay, I can't lie. So, so if he, if you know, Blue is his right hand man. That's like uh, uh, Gotti and uh, Sammy the Bull. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. That's what that is. And this is I dope because he's from Detroit. He know these guys. This ain't a guy that's talking. He know. He know them. He's from them. He's grew up with them. He know them. He can tell us the movie more better than what Fifty Cent is doing. Salute to you, brother. You hear me? Exactly. I, I mean, I go, I go back. We all kids, so I know they know. Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna do this. Meach and Terry, hell, yeah, they had to do a play, but they were sitting idle for five years. Yeah. So they could have played things out and they're gonna get a little bit of 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 because they were sitting without a case getting started. Everyone didn't see that. So you can't say, well, uh, me, uh, Blue was going to snitch. You can't say anyone's going to snitch because they were holding them, holding uh, me and Terry for five years without going to court, without having a uh, court case. You know what I mean? So they got tired of sitting. Yeah. So they took a plea bargain themselves. So you can't go and write a book years later and say, who's going to snitch? Really, no one snitched because there was no testimony against them. They got that. But right. the ones that got five years is suspect, see? Because so. how you get out in five years <laughs> and everybody else getting out in 20 years, you know what I mean? So everybody was going to testify something. Yeah, like, everybody has story to tell. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to throw Blue told me under the bus because Dexter also got only four or five years after he got out and was out for three years. Yeah. That's when he getting that 12 years. No, buddy, you only got three. We know each other personally. He know I'm pissed off at him because he knew he told the family how he got out. Yes. So uh, Dexter supposed to say, look, write this, do this, do this, this, this. You got a red trip. What, what it was, I told Dexter's mom, I said, uh, Mr. Your son can get out of jail, but he got to write a letter of a red dress agreement to a special office. And when you write a red dress agreement, I told you that the mom, don't yeah. um, implement any drug activity. That's nothing. Talk about his arrest. Did he get beat up? Did he get kicked in the nut? Did he take, uh, did they treat him like, you know, like, you know, like Zambo, yeah. you know, like, like a bitch behind the scene. Back ball in the head, busting over the head. head. I get it, you know what I'm saying? He's beating it. You know what I'm saying? Sex is based on the system. How they were treating him before they brought him to trial. That's how he got out. And that special office supposed to be offered to, uh, to, uh, Big Lee, but I can't lie. But they can have been. Before Dexter, Smitty, hold on, Smitty. Oh, my fault. Huh? Oh, actually, my man, Smitty, want to ask you something. Yo, Smitty. Yeah. Yo, he's from Detroit. Smitty Brim in the field. He's, he's actually grew up with Big Meech in them. You've been watching the documentary. They've been talking crazy about Blue. What you want to ask him, brother? He actually know everybody. He know he know the, he know 20% of the players that came out of Detroit. You heard? What you want to ask? Yeah, I was, with, I was, I was, I was with um, Terry in the feds. I, I bumped into Terry in Oklahoma in the feds and stuff like that. He's a good trouble. You know what I'm saying? Real humble dude. What you want to ask him about the town? But I just wanted to ask him, um, um how, you know, what, what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? Like out there, like the culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, like what's the difference between you know what I'm saying? Like the, um, the Midwest and and, 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 and our side, you know what I'm saying? And why Blue Da Vinci, you know what I'm saying? Is, is he pulling a stunt? You understand what I'm saying? Is he pulling a stunt? Like I just believe, from publicity, I, cloud, is he cloud chasing? I, I, I believe Blue is nervous of him calling us Nick in his BMF series. Yeah. That's more so. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to really send, send that message. Look, Bill, don't, don't paint me as a snitch or nothing. You know what I mean? Because technically, he didn't snitch because no one snitched. 
meets and Terry cut a plea deal, you know. But yeah. there was no gonna be no testifying against them. So so I understand we see uh, the fed pit and blue against uh Meach and then uh Dexter against this person. That's what they do. So 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 they can get people to cut deals. So hey, yo, what's up with what's up with the dude Terry though? It's Terry, yo, because he's a stand-up dude. I know, you know, as as I know. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I, I got God in me, so I, I can't, I can't, I can't lie. I, I, um, I got in trouble with the fans, you know. But one thing about me, I know American history. So when I, if I represent myself in court, or I start arguing. They don't want to bring my case on because I understand. Who, who they work for, you know what I mean? It's like I understand who they are, so a lot of times they gonna duck me anyway because I understand law, I went to school for it, I understand it. So I, I always try to be a breath. You know, the streets gonna beat me, but I also know they trying to put me away. You know what I mean? So I, I, I always been, I had a hot view on a lot of things, but what I what I did for me and Jerry was they, was, they were, uh, I did a red dress for them, but I used uh, change.org. Uh, uh, I guess it would be me. Girlfriend did that change.org. But that's a red dress agreement. But I took that and I put a legal document to it. And then they moved Terry and me from Supermax with Larry Hoover down to low security. Well, if you get put in low yeah. security, your, your next step is coming home. You just gotta stay in the road. Yo, yo, this is real. <laughs> yo. So, only thing left is get free. So, Beach and Terry both were put in low security when they was put in Supermax. I played a role in that because that's a red dress agreement. See, sometimes we don't be understanding that we got a voice, we just don't use it. Well, hit my IG, man. My IG. Yeah, hit, hit, you have my number. Text me when you when you hang up with this shit. You need to text me. This is classic content, my nigga. Well, I'm gonna tell you with my brother Lee. My brother Lee got a little power struggle going on with me. And if I help him get out, he know he gonna hold you to the Turn your thing in the background down. Somebody turn your background down. Uh, uh, 
uh, doing a trademark. Shit, I helped that. You know what I mean? But you you got to write me in a book. You got to say, dude, you had a connection. You just didn't get out and write books and take over the black mafia logos and then say, oh, so that's the show. I'm chewing this bitch ass out. But we, boy, we all know each other. We ain't trying to hurt each other. But we do know each other. So you hear me dogging my little bit because I can still go by a mom house and say, well, that's that. You know what I mean? So it's my like that. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, act like Dexter ain't a bad person. What it is, it, you may know who makes sense. But of everyone who got five years, I don't care who you are, you was going to get on the stand and tell your story. You're going to tell you something. Know, something. Yeah, I'm saying. This ain't where you're going to ask your finger. You see? That's why I'm letting y'all know we ain't going to go just through. It's all of them. I don't care if they do it or not. You all have got only four or five years. What the fuck you going to say? That's damn yeah. everybody. So I'm not going to sit here and watch Blue get hurt or watch 50 Cent exploit it and then turn around, you know, because that was me right there. Man, he loved Blue. And everyone knows Blue was on the artist. Jeezy just slipped in there somehow and blew up. But Blue was his man. So, so for Dexter to interpret it, he needs to tell how he got out to be able to do trademarks. Mm. And go, Cause he knew he was taking it over. He wanted to be the third man. He tells you this book. So I'm the kind of person to say, dude, you're supposed to show respect to everybody. He just didn't get out, he had help. So if you got help, you need to shut the fuck up until you tell your story. How he got the victory story. How did yes. you get out on a Rico when there's no bail? Crazy. How did you get out on a sneaky E when there's no bail for you, buddy? That's a crazy. That's why a did fact. Josh Cole, why did Josh Cole, who would put everybody away, let you out? Because you get out of a black secret society that I'm part of. You know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. He, know, he knows that if we ask him for something, he know he got to give it. So Judge Cole let Dexter out like he brought him in like a chain gang. I mean, he was, he was handcuffed. Get, uh, you know, Kali, you know, you know, Kali's always been one of the pretty girls in the court, so I don't want to throw a brother straight to the bus, but, uh, you know, they brought Dexter in like he was Toby about to uh, be auctioned off in the slave trade. You know, tell yes. that story, dude. How did you go from being a slave in the jail cell like everybody else, Doug Cole released you in front of all the prosecutors. Nigga, you had a story to tell. How did you, how did Doug Cole tell the prosecutors, Bub, you, you can go home. Then he looked at the pay. Now, this is how I know all this was power because the family called me to be there at the courtroom with them. So I had to go in with that family. But Doug Cole, they, they had him come to the federal prison. Now, this is the judge putting everybody away. Yeah. This judge is going and let this man out. Yeah. I mean, we talking that well, that's the end, like he was a criminal about to run away and shoot somebody. They brought him in and take animal action. I ain't gonna lie. So, when you chain up in your arms, your feet, and that judge tells them to take your shit off, and stand in that room over there, and the prosecutor like, that's the danger, that's the death, that's the death. He told all those prosecutors, they shut the fuck up, do what I wanted to. And he told Dexter, I'm going to let you go home. And he asked his parents, now this is the federal court, this is how much power this was. He asked the family, could they go home and get some clothes for Dexter so Dexter can change clothes? So he got all those federal circumstances. Nigga, you ain't telling that in the book. You ain't telling how you escape the system and everybody else is being fucked. And you didn't tell people that you spent your not because he was on another trip. Because I was trying to tell a region Terry the same thing. Me, oh no, no, the Kurt don't know nothing about the damn up guy. I don't got Kurt. No, no, buddy, I was gonna tell you, uh, me, you don't have to talk about nothing. Let's talk about your treatment. You know, when they put the AK in your head, when they try to threaten to kill you, you don't have to violate beat you, they kick you. And you can get out of jail just on that alone. 
But but the problem was is that beef in the heat course, beef south with the church, we get everybody bored. It just don't make sense. So I had to kind of come on here and say, look, that's uh, got way more story to tell than anybody. And he don't yeah. want to share that. That means he was trying to keep everybody in. Yeah. So he can run the shit. Are you with me now? So, yeah. So my wow. Dexter, on Dexter, because your story bigger than Blues, nigga, you walked wow. out the system with nobody else in. Wow. Nigga, you had you had friends in high places. Now, Ooh. if you don't want to share those friends dude, with your boy, nigga, you suspect you. And and that Dexter listening to y'all business to that motherfucker. It's Kirk. He know the fuck I am. He <laughs> said, Kurt, Kurt from Sea Courts? No, you not. He know I can fuck him up. Well, you from Kurt from Sea Courts, right? So, I want Dexter to understand your shit deeper than blues. Your shit should be in BMF right now. But you don't want that because it was too much power. But, brother, it ain't power. A mayor or a, a president or someone can do what I tried to share because it's given to certain people who who they make. I have been accused of being an international hitman in other countries. And if I'm, if I'm able to win on technicality or get out of trouble, that means we got to kill. You know, I got to kill. So if I know I share my gift with you, I would do it. But but that, uh, but what the problem with me, he wanted me to see the seat of my gift, but he don't know. He should have been out first. See, they can't hold you for five years. And not bring no charges, it's just all this evidence. We hear you got it. Why are you holding these boys because they didn't have no evidence? They can only ask the members, what do you know about them? No, you don't know nothing about them. You only know about what you did. But when they get caught with no yell, yeah, how can you say you know that? Are you with me? You gotta be caught with some dope or something to say, I, 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 I can snitch on me. We we kept it there clean from all these motherfuckers. Uh, so too, but what what's happening is play on play. So that's why I wanted to let everybody know we not gonna be said because we don't get blue hurt for what blue. We're not gonna testify in this case. I don't care how many books written about it. People ain't gonna get to testify, and all the hundred motherfuckers that were gonna testify ain't gonna get to testify. They out. They making money. They BML. The homies and homies, but then it comes Dexter trying that right he the shit, and his shit was the work because nigga, you got out and you didn't let Terry Leach know what you did. You wanna act like you were more now, you know the board no 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 dude. The more you do this, nigga, you, you did a red dress agreement to a special office. And that mm-hmm. office went on here and they did not want that office to interview the judge. It was it, it really something like the judge. See, sometimes slavery is really prohibited, but if you treat it like a slave, you can't kind of punish that judge when he even put you in that type of predicament. So I just want to uh, just share a little bit with you guys. Because I, I know we all grew up with kids. We all roller skated, played baseball, uh, uh, right in front of me, uh, uh, Terry Home. I was like 12, 13 with my first Suzuki 80 popping wheelies in front of the house. You know what I mean? So yeah. everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, we all grew up dreaming. Uh, and we all felt, you know, you know, I can't lie. And the out of the hood, when they seen Scarface, that's what they want to be. Yeah. When I seen the Godfather movie, that's what I want to be. Yeah. I want to move my operation to government so if I get in trouble, motherfuckers know not to fuck with me. You know what I mean? So, my mind, all our minds, you know, is influenced by the movie. But I just don't want Blue to be thrown under, but I just don't want Blue to also get caught up, fuck with Lil' Meech, and then find himself really getting hurt, because that's Lil' me. You know, he making real money. It ain't drugs. That's real money. You know what I mean? So, so I pray Lil' Meech, don't go in the street and get it all taken away. Nigga, stay acting, keep, keep portraying your father, and become rich as hell in different ways. But I don't want to see nothing. Be, and I even told Blue. I said, Blue, you're going to chill with that shit. And he did agree, and I hope Lil' Me seen it. You're going to chill with that. We ain't going to turn Blue and Lil' Me, because that ain't his enemy. And Lil' Me, that ain't your enemy. 
already know that's the start of some shit, but that thing told his story. You see? So we're gonna we're gonna set that shit aside for a second and just say, look, it ain't no beef between love and meat, cause no one ain't gonna tolerate blue doing none of love meat. Are you with me? So so blue gonna have to chill and love meat's gonna have to chill. Fuck that he said. You pay blue for his story. <laughs> Cause in e court you ain't paying nobody. This shit coming trying to go around like a character for Love Meat. That ain't that. That dude ran off the uh, look. Uh, Meat Meat E D ran the whole hood. He had e court boys supply, Southwest boys supply, every room. E D was the man. That's the Godfather. But you see, they not trying to say they trying to go around his story so not to paint him. That's fifty cents. You see. They trying to put the script, put okay, but you trying to put my building into it too, but you ain't trying to pay nobody. So oh. you said to try to write this storyline without paying the real cash. Are you with me? Yeah. No. Gotcha. Uh, wow. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, the hood already know being mouth fan for big me flannery. I, I had to put that out there. That was being mouth really when we were growing up. That was big me flattery, so the I'm still someone else made it mom guy you with me. So we when we turned to the fifty boy, fifty boy have big me flattery. That's what BLM come from. The fifty boy, big me flattery. You know what I mean? He's 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 the head over the fifty boys. So so Detroit you checking know, in. the mob family already laughing about it. They 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 even teased me, they said you know what the BLM really stands for? And I'm like, you know, they talk about, he said, nah, that's big me flattery. That's what we were calling it. That's who you said. Hang out. So, all I'm just giving everybody an update. I'm just letting everybody know. Dexter wants to be the man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Blue might want to be the man. And, uh, but, reach and tear put the hood, our hood on the map. So I don't care what I was a Don wow. River boy. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, um, 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 but a Buddy Siegel cocktail. That's fine, but that guy yeah, being rap shit is real, you know, and it comes from Hollywood. So we know who the beginning, and we kind of know who to eat because it all started right here in the hood. So, so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get everyone to bring it down a little bit. Because we not trying to get Blue hurt. You know, we might see 50 cents spin, but we ain't trying to get Blue. Like, I don't want to get a little beach. And I don't want us to be the reason why they about to go to war for nothing. Because no one don't let nothing happen to Meach. Little Meach is the one who can kill probably anybody. Are, you know, are y'all with me? So yeah. I'm just trying to wing in yeah. so that we as adults don't get so caught up. But me, Dexter, uh, me to Terry, me, 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 I don't care what part of the, what part of me to the left, me and me would be sitting down talking for a moment. But me ain't gonna let me get my guy because, you know, you know, I, he know what I can do. So, so, and I'm not gonna try to take his shot. This is me to yeah. Terry day. They put the hood on the map. We all BML. We, we love our Atlanta brothers. We love our Florida brothers, St. Louis brothers, all that. But when it comes down to the family, I don't want to see no war between Blue, Lil' Meek. 50 Cent is going to have to start paying people. Just the bottom line. 50 Cent is robbing people. He's trying to tell that story while paying people, giving people their true image and stuff. So if anything, everybody's going to sue 50 Cent. Because you can't, you can't build a series without ED. Why didn't you sit down with ED and just talk to him, talk about what he did with when they were 17 uh, uh, years old. Big Meech, Big Meech, Big Meech went to my protege, Kilo. Kilo is the nephew to E.D. Kilo is how Meech and Terry became 50 boys. You oh, know why? You know, he had a in his life, but he was the one that Meech went to. Meech didn't go straight to the man. He was only 17. So he went to someone. <laughs> so why is that not told? And I even told some what I said, dude, y'all gotta talk about uh, um, uh, uh, Kilo. Maybe you liked him at the end, you maybe did, but he's the reason why y'all got y'all y'all got put on. He he should have been he should have been a bunch of boys sitting around kicking it and saying, Oh, that go Kilo. His uncle the man. 
let me talk to him and see if he can, you know, get on. And what's the kilo to me? What's the offer? And put them on. That would be ED. So, so while I'm sharing the story, they're cutting all of that out. You know what I mean? But that building that they showed they got started, I own that building. That's my family. I can say my family was was was, was money lenders and uh and bankers. You know, <laughs> my, my my family was working, but when you build a building in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, where your family can live, you know, my family taught me something. So yeah. I already know BML needs to pay taxes, but I know that ain't where they started, you know. They thought the equal community center. And that center been torn out for housing. But that's where Big Meats was rolling in equal to the community. See, he wasn't right there because that's in Woo territory. That's my love. I'm his godfather, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he'd be rolling. So it's called, so called E Courts or C Courts? It's called E Yeah, yeah. E Courts? Yeah, 19th Street. 19th Street. 19th Street. E Courts? And Vivica Road. Vivica Road to this day is still the place to be. When people need they whatever, that's where they go to. 19 was Vivica Road. But that wasn't Big Meach and Terry's territory. That was another brother of mine. You, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. so everyone is using everyone like it. But again, that building there, I own that building. That's family. You know what I mean? Yes. So, so that's like how the air in a with it, we sold it. But that's, that's how it goes. But that building, when we were back in the 80s, that was my family. So that's where I live upstairs yeah. when I was a baby. So yeah. I know everybody, but I just wanted to come in with, 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 with real talk. I already know Dexter had to cut a deal too because he recriminated himself in there four years. Yeah. So what did you say? You see, so I already wrote it. Everybody getting out of the road won't say something. Everybody. Yeah. So, so it ain't just me. It's the whole everybody. Because the people that got short time, what did you say? You know what I mean? Because Meach, Meach and Terry was sitting while they were trying to get everybody to snitch on them, you see? So it took five years for Meach and Terry to go and say, I'll sleep in deal with you. Yeah. And then they pulled again the like 15 years and they give them all these years. That's the judge fucking with Meach and Terry. Yeah. Because they wanted to steal that money. You know, the lead prosecutor was a mouth deal. Yeah. Okay, what happened to his land? Well, why he in the jail? The lead prosecutor over me was a mouth deal. And people don't talk about that. So what what was the police and FBI doing? Them niggas in drugs too. But they wanted me to pay them. If that dude worth two hundred thousand, two hundred million, that's what they want. So so I'm just letting everybody know we don't post that the feds dictate nothing. If the feds is giving them information, it's all bullshit. They wasn't there. They fact. never bought uh, a Southwest tea with no drugs. They only got communication of something of something. Ninety yep. percent of them was self-employed, only picking up or dropping up. They don't really own no payroll. There's no. This, this little organization was so big, you don't need to be on no payroll. Just have some money and come and get it. Yeah. You know, if you trust him, okay, give it to him. Oh, you trust, give it to him. Everybody's self-employed. You understand where I'm coming yes, from? Yes, sir. So that ain't no really going to fall. Me too was just fully into the good shit, and anyone could buy it. He probably ain't had to sell the strangers. The whole street can eat from me to table, and that's our best table. So, so, so when you hear my people go snitch, they really snitching on them fans. Now, Blue might be black, but Blue, Bill said he got money, so Blue might be the richest out of everybody. Cause he was meet, meet right hand man, you know what I mean? So, so what we need to do is say, Blue, we will, we will do another BMF and tell him I want to direct you. I'm going to make that shit right, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm going to give y'all my phone number. And, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, breaking blue down, uh, let's bring blue on and let's get this shit right. Yeah. And that way, that way we can be a part of something historical. Because that story ain't going to tell The story, to me, it ain't putting e court in the movie. e court Is it e court Hold on. Is it e court Yeah, e court 
I keep saying, okay, e courts, all right. Supposed to be the OG. Not saying uh, allegedly the one that allegedly shot him and the one that was Meech's messing with the girl and all that. Was that was that official OG nigga in real life? Believe it or not, believe it or not, when Terry Terry actually got shot, yeah, he got hit in his face and uh, he was shot in the back. Terry was shot in the back. Okay. Yeah, and he got hit in the back. Going out to Atlanta because 
because if there would ever be, he knew that our hood would be the one flying out. He knew yeah. our hood would be the one taking care of business. Are y'all yes. with me? Yes, sir. He, he knew he knew where to go and get the real killers. You know what I mean? So so Atlanta all around all around the country, he trusted the hood. Are you with me? Yep. So he could have called on three of three, four, five families, and you know, it if it got dealt with it, no one knew it came from our hood. You know what I mean? So yes. so I celebrate Meach, I celebrate Southwest T. Um, it feels good because they know me like I'm talking like now. They know yes. me. They yes. just know I, I never could sell to zombies. I just couldn't. Yes. But I definitely had my connections with with, with I was number two to the Mexican, to the Colombian, because I had to make a party. Um that, that's who, that's who, you know what I mean? That's yes. who I was looking to, too. So I had yes. money before 90s. Yes. And I was throwing concerts with my money. You know what I mean? I was, I was, you know, cigar schools down when the 50 boys was still, you know, still 50 boys. So Meese knows that. So I'm not going to try to act like, you know, I'm on the street doing exactly like the 50 boys. I can't do it. I can't because my family is important. I know. Yes. So, but I, I, but I was on the back end, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had access to it all. So yes. if I need some, I know he's short, take can from him, sell it to him. As long mm -hmm. as I make a thousand dollars, I'm happy. Or five hundred, you know what I mean? Hell so yeah. Everybody needs to be supplied. And I was good, you know, making my money like that. So uh, I had to just let everybody know, we're not going to throw blue. He caught. Because he never. That's right. Yeah, huh? E courts is in the building, 19th Street, you heard? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and all you do is say that, we talk to Kurt on 18th Street. Shout out to Kurt on 18th Street. Street. He, yep. know, he, know, he know that I know he need to tell his fucking story. You don't go be writing books and don't say how the fuck he got out. And then Hell he gets yeah. more, more powerful than all that fucking. That nigga had a connection. I just use my, you know, you know, Mason is powerful for the up in the government, you know what I mean? So I, I just wanted my man to know, you know, dude, you don't have to talk, but you could have helped more people. Now you wrote this book, but nigga, what did you do? Hell you see, yeah. So you got to give me a, that's the, he won't be, oh, he's scared of me. He know you ain't going to start it because he know I got power. You know what I mean? Yes, and, sir. And he, matter of fact, he's going to get me to his deck, uh, meet you. So, oh, gee, oh, gee, what do I need you to do? You got my number. Text me. Text, text me your information, and we're going to do a show on this. We're going to do more so of a, this is going to be a show that me and you going to do something on this topic just from, you know what I'm so, so, so you can shout your people out. You know what I'm saying? We got people with attention. We got the clown and clout. Inbox me. Oh, yeah. Inbox me. You got, you got my number. Inbox me. Fuck with certain, uh, so uh, YouTubers talk so much, so you might see me and some of the fellas put together and calling people bitches and bags. I don't worry about all that, man. Let's inbox me. I don't worry about all that, man. It's, it's not an argument over dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm not winning to all that. I'm on a different level now, but I... <laughs> nah, we good, we good. Just inbox me. But check it, check it. I got to do a couple of more things. I appreciate right. you calling in. I'm going to put you on the title. OG Kirk from e Court, 19th Street. You know what I'm saying? I right, got we you. Can write, we can write the real BMF movie. That's just a serious. Yeah, so you hit me up. You know, you know, everybody got some blue. And, uh, and you get blue, we do a real movie with real, it's a real Godfather story. All right, it's so hit me. Family. So hit me up. So hit me up, brother. Hit me up, brother. You can bring E.D. in. You can bring Terry in to represent his brother until he get out. You got Poppy. You got, you even got the real boys. boy. It's yeah. all about now telling the story for real. Tell the story for real. Don't nobody. Exactly. So hit me up. Don't worry about inbox me. I got you. Just inbox me. I got to move on a little bit, but right. inbox me. And we're going to take it from there. You got my number, so inbox me right now. You hear me? Call me. Text me. I'm going to put you on the title. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Shout out to Detroit. Right, brother, I sure will. I sure will. Got you. One love, Thanks baby. Me on, no problem. Anytime. Hold up. Abbott, what's going on? Who's in Detroit right now? <laughs> yeah, that was that was a lot. I just I couldn't say nothing. That was nothing for me to interject because I don't know nothing about Detroit. Detroit, business. no. Okay. So and he just brought a whole different perspective 
and I'm grateful that he called in because he has an insider thought. Yeah. Element. So wait, like I'm, I'm glad that he let it be known that if you're gonna say blue is janky, then you should have told everybody everybody janky because nobody basically is a snitch. It's a snitch really, because they copped out. So now. I'm great. I'm so grateful for that man bringing in all that information, letting y'all know the history and the truth. You know what I'm saying? Perspective. So that that cleans that cleans up a lot of it. You know, don't don't start shooting us down because we brought it on and we talking about it. We just talk about the things that brought to the public. That's what we're doing. Yep. Using our First Amendment right to be able to speak our opinions. But because that was that was woo. That, woo, that was that woo. Because because you know what? That was a lot. That was a lot. I because 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 us hearing that from a guy who's speaking from grew up around them in their neighborhoods, he's giving us a better light in Detroit. And by us listening, it's like, yo, this is deeper than and, 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 like this is because we're watching a part of the video, the, the, the show, and things are beginning to make sense now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And it's that's that's real. Like, yo, them dudes is like organized in 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 e courts and. Like that, that diner is crazy because it was like, dude, this said, yo, you must, you must be from E Courts, and something popped on him. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, that it was so much Detroit history, piece by piece, and he breaking it down. But one thing I'm gonna say about Duke is there wasn't no malice come out of his mouth, bro. There was no hate mail. You hear me? Yes. That's I, and that I like was weird. He, I, I like how he let that be known. Like you know, there's a whole different side of the story and how he also showed basically like the scenario of probably why blue was so pissed off in that cryptic message of saying what he's saying don't play on my name because yeah. you ain't paid me nigga. so basically <laughs> what the caller was saying is that 50 is playing the power game he not trying to pay people for the bag he's trying to go around all the other players and, and get the story without coming to the people who was yeah. actually involved with the that's story. that is he it's don't the want to that paper bag <laughs> the paper bag love, love. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah getting your paper back like, up. That was that was the greatest thing we could have. Cause that put all that other chatter to bed. The bed, like, um, oh, he ain't hit niggas off. No, <laughs> yeah, he 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 gave he he dropped a diamond on you, Z. Like dead hey. serious. Like he really did. Detroit. At, I'm like, woo, woo. I couldn't say nothing. It was nothing for me to say. It's not really nothing for me to sum it up because he summed it up the best. Hey, he wanna do his own he wanna do his own story. Because he want he wanna do yes. the real story. So woo. Woo. that's all I can say. Well y'all learn, y'all take y'all take the little lessons from this and see what what can happen to you on your way to wanting to be on the top. That's all this is about. It's not about trying to tear down another man for their accomplishments or anything like yeah. that or take away anything from these people. It's the fact that we're here. Zeke has used his platform. He's trying to stop somebody else's son or daughter from making the mistake that was made before. That's 30 years is 30 years. I don't it. care if you think you beat about. the system. 30 years is 30 years. Um, find some legal shit to do. It's okay to go to work get a 9 to 5. Listen, you just served. It, it, it makes sense. 50 Cent, not just 50, but these guys be making movies about dudes' stories and dudes' crews and dude blocks. And they don't show love that, because you need other people to, to participate, other other cliques and other dudes by front like, yo, you talk about us, you know what I'm saying? Like, they 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 can't be millionaires without us being involved, you know what I'm saying? Because you all play a part to the growth. And that's why I say, man, you know, this platform is for that. We like the Black Panther that pulled up, fight the power. He's got to speak based on knowledge, more understanding. If he, if his opinion is that's how you feel about me, so a me situation, then so be it. We got to stop when they hear what we want to hear is right. That's not how life goes. If, you know what I'm saying? You're going to hear something? Okay, let's go on. What happened? He spoke, and then some guy from Detroit spoke. At the end of the day, he ain't called Misha Rat. He just mentioned the situation, and he's in the know. I mean, he know grandmothers, he know brothers, he know uncles, and I'm listening, going, "Yo, this is deeper than rap, bro." You know what I'm saying? You hear me? It's deeper than rap. So what I'm gonna say is, man, find some legal shit to do. We find some shit, you need some legal shit to do, man. We be focused. We're gonna win. We're gonna take it to the top. I appreciate all the callers that called in. Smitty Brim, O O Five O China Brim. I'm saying, you know, Avid Chatters in the building. 
You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to, because now what I do now is I'm trying to listen. I want you to hear everything. I want you to hear everything. You know what I'm saying? Now the Jimmy Hinchman was going to touch on that, but that's, that's probably going to be Wednesday. Jimmy Hinchman and 50 Cent, because we touched on this. We don't, we don't want to be all over the place. You know, we had some black power. We had some Moors talk. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? We had some black nationalism. We had black Panthers. And then we got to Detroit. We get these callers, it ain't us. We don't we don't come and call in. We always get the surprise caller. We got OG Kirk from 19th Street E Courts. You know what I'm saying, you hear me? Yeah. Of course we gotta change the title. We get the callers. Am I right? Um That's right. We, That's right. When the perspective changes, like all like, you know, we, we we started off with blue, but then we ended off on a better note, where somebody was able to piece the pieces together. From That's from there. That's around. Just be running off with our opinions, creating scenarios. Yeah. Summed it up well to the point where it will cause little needs or blue to possibly lose their lives. That's yeah, not exactly. You don't want that. The of the lives is about. It's right. just to get y'all to think differently. Don't always be a group thinker. Think for yourself. Take your yeah. opinion. Your opinion is valid. Whether your opinion agrees with what we're saying, but not the violence, let's think past the violence and all the craziness that's involved with all this, the, the antics that comes along with the street life, like, yeah. you know, nobody wants y'all to keep doing the repetitive cycle, we want, we want our people off the hamster wheel, that's what this is about, That's exactly. so we can move forward. And it's that person. Shout out to Harlem Double. That's my guy. It's a, it's a disco baller, skinny jeans. He. That's my guy, Harlem Double. Everybody's opinion, everybody's opinions is, is respected. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's what this game is about. It's about we're creating a platform where people can say what they want, speak what they want to see. Now, if you want to take, now, if you want to fight with somebody's opinion, it's okay. But it's not the, the channel. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Because that's what takes away from me. disrespectful. You can you can counter someone's opinion with your opinion, but don't be disrespectful with it. Don't call nobody out their name and challenging them to fights and all the SMDs. SMDs that's, that's in the world, world and your own yeah, like, facts. And that's what, that's like, what we get into. Have, have an intellectual conversation. The best way your intellect yeah. is capable of handling it, but don't come over here with the ignorance. That's all. Yeah. The state's your opinion. You don't have to agree with what the caller is saying. You, you got to agree to it. <laughs> But be respectful. There yeah. is a respect line that a lot of you sometimes try to go over, like, you know, with your opinion. <laughs> And that's what I'm gonna say. Definitely shout out to Real World Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Definitely shout out to Real World Podcast from Detroit. I like it. Detroit pulled up too. I, I'm jacking that. Detroit, D Town pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely shout out to the whole Detroit. Look, we had a caller from Detroit that called in. It's all about us winning, all of us unity. Never know who calling next week. Be on deck. You gotta be on deck. We don't know who will call on next week. It was a great show. Shout out to Average Shatter. She's in the building. You rock the building, shout out to Whitey Southern Bell, she's in the building, St. Louis, Kansas City was in the building, Harlem, Brooklyn. Yo, this, it, it shout out to Queens, 50 Cent, for creating this narrative. You know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? They have us something to speak about, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you'll have, have a chat, how you want to go out? Just want to say thank you to everybody, like, you know, and to find something productive to, to do. do. Not just legal, but productive. Yes. Yes. Seriously, man. We're hearing this stuff. If you want to follow BMF cases on Crown Court TV, if he still has that, that, that footage up, he has, the, he has the audio. Check out Crown Court TV. Shout out to my man Van Glory. He's in the building. You know what I'm saying? Never shut the gun. Um, 50 doesn't care what you think. We're not doing this for 50 cent attention. You know what I'm saying? We don't care. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's just a show. <laughs> Um, definitely, 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 definitely shout the wrong book, shout the Harlem, you heard? Harlem Devils in the building, wrong books, four surprise, I mean, Mr. White Bills was in the building, you hear me? Um, check out that show tonight. I, I enjoy watching throwback shows, it bring me back to my element. With that being said, that being said, be peaceful, find some shit, legal shit to do, find something productive to do, 
If y'all want to watch BMF other than the series, you can check out Crown Court TV. He has some videos on that stuff. With that being said, salute to 050 China Brim, Smitty Brim, East Harlem, where I'm from, Washington Projects, Free Odie, you know what I'm saying, Lexington Projects, Hilltop, 99, El Barrio, everything in East Harlem. That being said, peace, love, and unity.